All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And uh, we will come, everybody here, including the Muslims, uh, to be with us. And let us see if uh, who is here is holding the truth. Uh, just by the way, I have received uh, a challenge from a Muslim uh, gentleman. Uh, his name uh, is Khan. I think he is from India, and he offered me a challenge in Facebook, in Skype. I guess I just saw this challenge from him, and right now he is with me live on air. Uh, we will take him in, in a minute. Uh, I see his text is saying that Allah says, if you have adopted in this produce one chapter. So this is his challenge. Uh, before we start, please invite your friends so every, everybody will hear this uh, uh, this uh, nice debate as long as we have Mr. Khan with us. And look like he is a person who knows uh, how to answer the questions and how to prove to us that Islam is coming from a divine God. Uh, so please share with everybody and invite your friends and let us see what Mr. Khan want to say to us. Are you with me, Mr. Mr. Khan? Yeah, how are you, man? What's your name? Uh, my name is a Christian Prince. I thought you know who I am, right? No, I don't know who you are. It's my first so, time seeing you. So, so how you uh, how yeah. you get to know me? I mean, why you why you text me in no, Skype? Okay, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, there's a person named Sammy Samson uh, in YouTube. Uh -huh. He just he just makes videos in a room, mm -hmm. like he just takes talks about stuff, and he's never done a debate in his life. So I wrote in a <coughs> comment that uh, show up for a debate, show up for an argument, mm -hmm. and he doesn't even do any arguments. Then after I got a message from Warrior who was saying come for debate, and he told you your Skype. And I said, I, I accept this challenge. All right. So Okay, no problem. So you are welcome. Want... You are welcome, Mr. Khan. Yeah. So how you can yeah, prove yeah. to me that Allah Allah is a true God? How you can prove okay, that so to me? For... Okay, so first of all, Allah is also mentioned in the Bible. Where? So when you open the gospel, Where? Where? when you open the gospel, it says, when you open, it says, Eli, Eli. And your God, his name is Eli? Eli? His, your God, his yes. name is Eli? Where you can find that in the Quran? Oh. Okay, isn't Eli and Allah if someone shouts it like no, Jesus Allah, was Allah is different. No, 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 no. Allah, okay, so, Allah is something, and Eli is something else. You need to prove okay, it to me. So, what Eli? Okay, first so, of all, first of all, Khan, Khan. First of all, first of all, listen, listen, listen. So, first of all, Khan, no, Khan. Let me make my point. Khan, Khan. You, you Who you told you first that even Eli oh, is a is a is a name of God? Is Eli is a name of God? Is Eli a name of God? I'm asking you. You start already. You're not letting me make my point. So I will make you make a point, but you just said something funny. Is Eli is a like word that, mean God me, or it is a name of God? I'm asking you. What's this, I want to learn from you. Khan, Khan. You, you mentioned something. We don't want to jump over. We don't want to jump over it. You see, uh, for me, me question, learn, learn, bro. learn about me. Learn about me. Learn about me. I don't bro, like. I don't let things go. You say something, I will hold you with it right away. You say something, Khan. I am the kind. If you say something, and I want you to do the same to me. I want you okay. to do the I'm same to me. So I'm asking you now, is Eli, is the word mean God or it is a name of God? Is Eli, don't jump, don't jump. Is Eli a word mean God or it is a name of God? Okay, what's the difference? Okay, what did what did Jesus call God? Tell me. Uh, this is not, I'm asking you. Don't change the question no, now. I'm asking you. Uh, don't change what the question. Don't change the question. You mentioned God. Eli. You, you mentioned Jesus yourself. You mentioned I'm Jesus yourself. Eli is a word mean Eli is Eli is a word mean God Eli is a word mean God it's not a name of God now can you find me the word Eli exists in your Quran you're giving me a subjective perception which is not even with the scripture so tell me what what did Jesus call us God that's the main question this is the word this is a word mean God this is a word mean God okay can you show me one translation can you show me one translation? It says I'm that asking, the word I'm will. And I mean, you are the one who mentioned something. You have to. You have to prove it to me. Where in the Christian Bible it says that the word Eli is a name of God? Where in the Christian Bible it says that the word Eli is a word which is a name of God? Can you show me that? Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, show I'll me. Show you. I'm listening. It's enough. Hmm. I'll show you the reference as well. Mm -hmm. Do you need to call a friend? Wait, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. 
so the testament also says a law and a la in the english bible so this and is the word says, mean god this is the word mean god says, okay this is not a name my friend this is not a name I, and the question the is Christian the question is we know where eli come in my, let me teach you something says, let me let me teach you something Khan. Khan, 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 let me teach you something eli, eli, let, lama, let me let me lama, teach you something okay if we go and read the verse in the says, bible what that word means what that finish. what that word no, mean? Okay, I'm asking you, is it a name or it's a God? Why you don't want to answer? Is that a word? Is that a word mean it's a it's a name? I, I, I want a final answer from you. I want listen, no, I know I will not let you finish. Here you see, I am a Christian prince. I don't just debate like others. I hold you with your words. You are a man. I am a man. You are not a kid. So you said to me, Eli is, is the name of Allah. Is your God Allah? His name is Eli. Where do you get from? You know what? Let me make a challenge for you. Let me make a challenge for you. Let me make a challenge for you. Can you prove to me once in the Quran the word Eli is appearing? Can you show me the word? If the word Eli is the name of Allah. Listen, listen, Khan. Listen, we are not kids. We, we can't debate by shouting. We can't debate by shouting. People, they want to hear your answer. I'm trying just to get an answer from you. Don't just shout. Can you show me one verse in the Quran? It says that Allah, his name is Eli. I want to see it. Can you show me one verse in the Quran? Where in the Quran we can find Allah saying, I, my name is Eli. You Muslims, you Muslims have 99 names for Allah. Listen, listen, this is a challenge. I want to show everybody that you Muslims, especially from India and Pakistan, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You have 99 names. Don't talk like this Listen, Abdul. Don't speak like Zakir Naik to me. We cannot talk at the same time. Can you show me the word Eli in the 99 names of Allah? If we open right now a Muslim website showing the 99 names, can you show me the word Eli? The mic is yours. I'm listening. I'm showing you, but you're not listening. Where? Show, show me. Show me. Go ahead. I'm telling you. What did Jesus call us God? Jesus called Eli, Eli, Nama, Sabakhtana. This is what Jesus said. Do you know what? Okay, what? Translate. Okay, translate. Translate. Jesus call us God. Translate, translate. No. What, what the word mean? Eli, Eli. What am I to me? Translate for me. Translate for me. Translate for me. Translate for me. What is that? What are translation? What are you asking me for? <laughs> you see, you see. Are, are, are we a bunch of kids? You can't. You you quote for me a verse of Jesus saying something, but you yourself you do not know what that does mean. I'm asking you. You are the one who quoted, not me. Don't tell me you are the one. Listen, Abdul. What's wrong with those Abduls? Each time I get an Abdul, he don't want to answer. What's wrong with you? Oh, what I'm asking you, translate for me the verse you just quote for me. I'm listening. The mic is yours. No, I'm asking you. No, you translate. You are the one who quoted. I'm not me. You are the one who translated for me. Go what ahead. Did Jesus call us God. I, you, you just say it. You just say it. You just say it. You just say that. Don't repeat yourself like a crazy man in front of the mirror. I'm asking you, you now. Translate the verse. Translate the verse for me. Translate the verse for me. What that verse mean? Why wouldn't Jesus? For forbid saying this name for why Abdul first of all this is not a name I just told you this is a word mean God this is a word Jesus mean God this is a word mean God are you stupid or what are you a stupid or what I'm asking you can you read the translate translation for me can you it is a word mean God it's not a name of God now I'm asking you where you can find even if Eli Eli can we find that in the Quran? Can you show it to me? Okay, why? It's in the Bible. Why do you want in the Quran for? Jesus, Jesus because you said God because you said Allah is in the Bible, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Yes, if someone if someone Allah matches with Allah. No, it doesn't says, match. Doesn't different. match. Doesn't match. What doesn't match. Different. What is Allah and Allah? What are you talking about? Allah is ill. Okay. Ishmael. Okay. Let me teach you. Shut up. In the Quran, if we go right now, you will see your fake God. You don't talk because I muted you. You are just a kid. If we go in the Quran, I will give you a mic because we cannot talk in the same time. Do you see the word Israel? The word Israel is Israel. This is a word meaning God, you idiot. Your God, Allah, who is a thief, Muhammad, he stole the word from the Jews, but we cannot find anywhere that this word is exist in the 99 names of Allah. If we go and check Ishmael, it's the same, Ishmael. If we ask Muhammad what Israel mean, they don't know. Who is Israel? They don't know. 
now the question is, is for you where we can find the word ill mentioned in the Quran as a name of God the mic is you no, let me finish man let me finish go ahead I'll prove I'm listening. Religion right now I'll prove how Paul ruined your religion and the Bible is corrupted fully. no I'll problem no problem we'll go to Paul one, one by one by one one by one don't jump like a monkey don't jump like a monkey don't jump like a monkey one it's by one the Bible, okay the coming up in Muhammad peace be one it's mentioned the Bible the name of Allah itself where where it's where where where, where okay where it's mentioned in the Bible the name of Allah let's fin let us finish the first one you idiot what's wrong with you Abdul Abdul, Abdul where we can find shut up you idiot what's wrong with you where we can find the name of Allah in the Bible you quote for me ill Allah have 99 names of them and none of them is ill can you show me the word ill between the 99 names of Allah you Muslims believe in? Yes or no? That's no yes or no? So, Why it, don't you call so, so it is not, so it is not in the 99 names of Allah, correct? Do you agree? Don't, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk like rubbish. I want an answer. Do you agree that if we go and look in the 99 names of Allah, we will not find ill? Yes or no? Oh, I'm asking you. Jesus, you said Jesus is the son of God. We don't the don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Where we can find Allah in the Bible, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Why Allah never said ill? Why Allah never said I am ill? We can, where we can find in the Quran, Allah is saying I am ill. Bible tells people to lie. If you open the, if you open and God is referring to Ahab. Are, are you going to jump like monkeys? Are you going to jump like monkeys from topic to topic? You are a monkey. Are, are you Zakir Naik? Listen, Abdul. The Bible teeth people to lie, and Allah is mentioned in the Bible. If you go and look in chapter 10 of the 13 of them in the book of the it said that the Muhammadim don't be stupid with me. We finish topic by topic. I will spank you and I will make you red before you leave. Now, show me where is the word Allah in the Bible and show it to me in the Quran. I'm listening. Jesus says. My father is greater than I. Then don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't Jesus change the topic, potato. Don't change the topic, potato. You are a to you are a potato. You are a potato. You are a coward. Why you are jumping from topic to topic? Are you a coward? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Which topic you want? Which topic you want? Choose one. Choose one. Choose one. Which one? I want the topic where which I make one? my point. Which if one? If you interject me, which I'm going to go the point. Strip it. Because strip it. Strip it. Strip it. I'm going to go without the You are a stupid liar like your prophet. Give me a topic you choose and promise me. Bible promise you to lie. promise me promise me you will Ahab. not uh, promise me Bible, oh, hold on, I strip it. donkey I cannot find a Muslim is not a donkey I'm asking you to choose a topic and don't jump and you promise me you will not move until we finish can you promise that five minutes each okay and you promise that you don't can you promise that get lost get lost get lost get lost stupid idiot are you going to quote for me a Muslim website? You jump from topic to topic, you donkey. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Listen, Khan. Yeah. Are you okay. a kid or a man? Are you a kid? Are you a kid or a man? Are you a kid or a man? Choose a topic. Okay, choose a topic. Okay, okay. The choose topic a topic. Is what is the truth? Islam or Christianity? This is the okay. No, choose a question. If you okay. okay, no problem. You promise you, okay. you promise me, you promise no. me, you will not jump from topic to topic unless you we finish the first one. First so, what is the first? That's what is the first promise. topic you want to talk about? What is the that's first topic? Reason. Don't stop, 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 donkey, donkey, okay. donkey okay. stop, stop and talking. You are a breathnet with words. You are a breathnet with words. I'm not listening. I cannot hear you. I want first to know the topic. What the topic you want to ask me? And you promise me you will not change the topic until we finish it. The mic is yours. You need to promise me you don't interject me. Because if you interject If you, you change the topic, I will mute you. I don't like kids. I'm not a kid. I am a man. Now, exactly. what You're is the topic? Okay, what is the topic you want to talk about? Choose the question. The first question. What is the first question? What is the first question? Choose a question and promise me you will not change until we finish it. Choose a question. How can a topic change if that? How can the topic change if the whole discussion is what what is the truth? <laughs> because we have to finish the first question. If you say something, Abdul, 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 Abdul. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let us see. Let us see. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let us see how Allah can be God, but yet He says women she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Go ahead. Just speak. 
That's How okay. can God That's can not, be God? But he says stupid right. things. What kind right. of God? What kind of God? Shut up. You are wasting my time. What kind of God? He said that your mother, she have testicles and she have balls in her breast. Is that God teaching? The mic is yours. Right. Is that is that God teaching? Yes or no? Okay. Bible do you, says. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? You see, you ask me a question. I answer you. You are a coward. Get lost. You see, he will say to me, you run away. You can say whatever you want. You are a donkey. This guy, he don't want to debate. He just want to talk and talk and talk. Jesus said, Jesus said. Get me, get me your dad to debate me. And now you are recorded in YouTube and everybody will love it at you. <laughs> what a stupid idiot. I mean, what was the debate? Jesus said, Jesus said, he will keep talking, he will keep talking. Jesus said, Jesus said, are you going to have a debate? You ask me and I ask you, or we are going to talk only? I will give him one more chance. Last chance to discover. Listen, Potato. Listen, listen. I'm listen. Gonna... Breathe, breathe, breathe. Before we start talking. Before you start talking. What about we make an agreement, me and you, that one a question from you and one a question from me? And we will not jump to the second question until we finish the first question. And maximum for each question is five minutes to be answered. I will give you the chance to give me the first question. The mic is yours. So the reference. Give me, give me your first question. The references in Kings. Give me the first question. Give me the first question. Give me, give me, give me the first question. Are you listening? Okay, yes, I've made it. What is no, the question? Let me finish, right? What is the question? What is the question? I'm not, I'm, I'm seeing the question, right? So you have to listen. Okay. You, okay. Ask, you know, listen. Uh -huh. I'm asking you hmm. that how can a God be truthful if he has already instructed someone to lie? So in Kings, Chapter 22, mm -hmm. verse 19 to 23, mm -hmm. it says that God used a lying spirit to deceive Ahab. So why does God have to, have to prove us to lie to Ahab? And this guy has said your Bible is false and it inst and your God uses fallacies to say people how to lie. All right. Thank you. Are you so, done? Are you done? Is not should, him, I, right? should I answer? Should I answer now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. First of all, the verse you are quoting for me, it's about a person who is a bad person like your prophet. So he is going to be deceived by the lion spirit, which means he is following Satan. God created Satan, and he is allowed to go and do whatever he can. But if people don't follow him, they will not be able to be deceived. God is However, let me answer. Let me answer, donkey. Don't answer. Don't talk. And you are the one who said, I muted you, because now it's my turn to talk. You are the one who said that God who teach people to lie, he cannot be God. And that can be found in the Quran in chapter 3, verse number 28, where Allah, he encouraged Muslims to do taqiyya. There's a huge difference between someone, he was deceived by the lying spirit, which is the devil, like your prophet. And if you don't follow the devil, he will not be deceived anyway. And someone, he claimed to be God, but yet he is teaching the Muslims to lie to their enemies and to lie to their friends and to lie to their family. You're a prophet, he said, you can lie in three cases. To your family, which means your wife and your children, to your friends and to your enemy. So your prophet, according to your words, he is the devil. The mic is yours. I'm listening. It's your reference. I, I gave you the reference. Chapter what is three, it? Wait, okay. Chapter three, but verse number twenty-eight. Chapter three, the verse number twenty-eight. Chapter the three. Yes, Abdul. This is Quran. This is Quran. Tafsir al Jalalain. Tafsir al Jalalain is a Sunni. Is a Sunni tafsir. Is not a Shia. Quran is no. not the book of the Shia. Is Quran the book of Shia? Is the Which Quran? You, okay. Is the Quran? Maybe any scholar, Imam Shafi, Imam Inafi. Imam Imam Abu Uttamin that has said that the Kiyas line they've studied all their life. So you need to quote from okay, that. Let, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Is, is, to is your uh, point? Who um, would address? Uh, okay. Is, Listen. Is Ibn who address? Address? Uh, Hello. Wait. 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 All the scars I'm showing exactly, you in front of me. Exactly. Listen. Listen. You, eh? Stop talking. Stop talking. You asked me to show you, right? Ajlalain in front of your eyes. He is a Sunni scholar. Yes or no? 
Who? Al-Jalalain, Tafsir Al-Jalalain. Is he a Sunni scholar or not? Oh, which Tafsir, which, which tafsir book is that? Tafsir Al-Jalalain, what's wrong book? with you? What's wrong with you? Tafsir Al-Jalalain. Which book is that? The book of Al-Jalalain, it's called Tafsir al This is the name of the book. What What's, hadith is that, right? That's a book. Well, what, 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 what do you mean with that? hadith? Abudi? What do you mean hadith? What do you mean hadith? Are you stupid or what? No. Tafsir, Whenever the prophet has quotes, you Abdul, have to show me that Abdul, Abdul, interpretation Abdul, of who narrates Ab, it. You Ab, don't just Ab, say... Abdul, Abdul. Okay, hold on, hold on. What about Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, and he is a Muslim Sunni considered to the Muslim okay. Sunni? What tafsir? Okay. What's tafsir, the book he has tanwir, narrated? Tanwir al-Miqbas, Tafsir Ibn Abbas. This is the cousin of your prophet. He is the only is one your prophet... Name has a the, Quran, the challenge of mankind. Is my friend, are you is, the, the don't Quran? change the topic. Don't change the topic. You said to me, I'm asking you, I'm clarifying. You're not making any sense. Listen, what did he listen? What, here we go. What, this, is, what? this is the website in the front of your eyes. I gave you the link. Open it and read for me. Tafsir, what is this for? Tell me, I'll wait, I'll it. it's wait. in front of you. Open it and read it. Wait, wait. Oh, where hmm. is this? No, open it's not here. I gave you the link. I'm, I gave yeah, you the link. Please, guys, invite your friends. We have Mr. Khan. He is a scholar. He has 10 degrees in Islam and seven degrees in Christianity and one degrees in uh, uh, in cooking camel urine. Let us see what he will do now. He will so change the topic. How does, this prove, how does this prove lying? I prove to you, Matt. Answer, 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 answer. I answered you. 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 This is God. This is God. Instructed. The, the verse, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You said to me, shut up, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Stupid donkey. And people blame me. Why I call Muslims donkeys? You said to me, show me where it says that, and show me the tafsir. And now I give it the tafsir. Supposed to you will read it. Why you are jumping to Matthew? Read it, and then you can tell me about Matthew. I like to listen about Matthew. But first, I want you to read this because you are the one who said the God who teach people to lie is not God. You are the one who said that, not me. And this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas for the Muslim Sunni. This is not for the Shia. And the Quran is not the book of the Shia. This is in the Quran. Now, I'm listening. The mic is yours. Read for us. This proves nothing for lying. Read How does it, it prove us. it? Read it. Show me. Read, read, it. It. read it. Read it. Okay, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it for us. Read it. Read it. It never proves someone to lie. It How says, does it prove okay, it? here we go. Let us see. Let us see if it says that. It says, it says that the Muslims cannot take, cannot take, cannot take the the, 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 the non-Muslims as a friends or protectors unless, unless what? Unless you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking it as weird security. Saving yourself from them by speaking, hold on, by speaking in a friendly way toward them with while your heart dislikes this. So you speak to me in a friendly way, but your heart, you hate me. Why you do that? Yes, because you're a liar. Ah, you're a liar. That's you're ah, to ah. So you guys, did you hear it? Did you hear it? Because I am a liar, he is allowed to lie to me? <laughs> Bible, your Bible is the biggest turkey in the world. You know how? Because this book instructs to lie to Ahab. This is the biggest turkey ever. I answer you exactly. Lord. I answer you. Okay, what about your prophet saying they can lie to your wife? What does that mean? Okay, where? Show me the hadith. Show me the interpretation. Show me the four schools of thought. Oh, Show me that oh, challenge. Oh, for a school of thought. Uh -huh. Yeah, they have studied all okay. the lives. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Like oh, hold on. Hold, the Bible on. Is hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, your on. Bible hold your horses. Hold your horses. Okay. Bro, your this, is the, this is the hadith in the front of me. It says that There's the no prophet has stopped talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Breathe. 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 Here we go. This is your prophet. Can you see that? Can you see YouTube with me? Can you see YouTube? I want you to look at YouTube, please, so you can see the screen with me and you can read. This is your no, prophet. I'm, not, I'm just discussing. I don't believe in false channels like yours. What channel? What, what channel? I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you any channel. I'm showing you the hadith. Yeah. Okay. Just. Yeah. I'm showing no, you the no, hadith. I don't see so what? What are you People talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Listen. I'm talking about how I'm talking about you are saying the prophet instructs us to lie. All so right. Show me where is written? I'm Show showing you. Here we go. Read with me. Yeah. Read with me. You read it. Okay, where is it? One sec. Read with me. Send it on Skype. It is not lawful to lie except in three cases. Who said that? The Messenger of Allah. Jami'ut Turmudi. The hadith is 
Sahih. And this is the link. What's the three cases? Open, op the three open cases? and read. Open and read. Here we go. This is the link. What's the three cases? Open and read. Does it say that your prophet, he said, you can lie to your wife. You can lie during the war. And you can lie to between people, which means between your friends. Okay. What do the four schools of thought who've studied all their you life? Tell me, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me. Don't tell no, me what it's called. You, me you, the you tell no. me, this is Muslim Sunni. You, you tell me, okay, show me, show me, Abdul, what the Muslim school of thought said oh. about this. Show me, show me. No, show you what? You are the show one who answer me now. It's your turn to answer me. I did hit you with, the, with, with, with my question. Now you show me the school of thought, what they said about this. Show me which is school of thought you want. Choose whatever you wish and show me. That is love together. I will make so you the joke of everybody. I will make you today the joke of everybody oh. in YouTube. You are recorded this and this video will spread all this over. Hadith? Answer me. This what this is the school of thought? Don't, you, don't right? change the topic. Listen. What? Okay. Don't, okay. don't change the topic. Show me, me the school of thought. No, no, I don't. insist. No, 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 I insist. I insist. You are the one who mentioned the school of thought. I insist. I want the school of thought. 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 I will not let you go without showing me because the school of thought will make you shish kebab. You are the one who said what the school of thought showed about this. Why you don't want to show me? Show me so we can laugh together. The mic is yours. This word. Show me the school of thought, you donkey. You I'm are the one who asked for it. You are, you are the one who asked for it. You donkey. You donkey. You, right? you are a stupid. You are a stupid. You say things you don't mean. Do you mean it really? When you said to me, school of thought. Did you, did you mean it? Did you mean it? Did you mean it when you said that to me, or you don't mean it? Please, her. <laughs> what? 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 Say again. You have shown me this hadith where it says something the man tells his wife to please her. So tell me what interpretation is this? You tell you me. Tell me that. You, you tell me what does that mean? What does that mean? You tell me that. What you tell me? You made the, tell I, me. Tell me what does that mean? The wife she will I, ask you. The, the wife she will ask you. Did marry in this? Uh, uh, did you marry additional women? You will say no, honey. I did not marry additional women. You are the only woman I have. Okay. This is a lie or not? No. You tell me. I what told you, I just told you, I can show you the fatwa. I can show you the fatwa. I can show you the fatwa that a Muslim he can lie to his wife in any purpose he wish, even including the including including marriage, including marriage. What is this? Show me. Show you what? I just showed you here. You want me to show you the fatwa? Yeah, show me, show me. I challenge uh, you, show me. All right. So if I show you what you will do, you promise me to open the camera and do the monkey dance. No, why? I challenge why you. Not? The why, not? why not? Why 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 not? Why not? Burning hell. So there's also a challenge where Allah after this. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me, so, show, let me search for. Show me. Let, uh, let, me this, let me search for the I, fatwa and I show it to you. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Hold yeah, on, prove me on. that. Okay, hold on. Yeah. And tell me about the man. He is lying between the people until I find you the fatwa. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, speak. I'm waiting for your answer. Why you can't lie to people? I'm waiting. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What do the four schools of thought mention in this? Bring me. <laughs> you are the one who had to mention it because you are the one who taught me about it. Yeah, I, I, I just I just learned I just okay. learned about this from your from you. So I just this, learned. I just learned. Means uh, I'll tell you. I just learned. I just learned. I just learned. I just learned about this from you. Bible. I want you. I want you to show me the school of thought. In all okay. senses. Okay. Okay. Hold Here on, hold it mentioned. On. Okay. That you're not L listen, you're listen, 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 listen. Listen, why you don't want to explain to us how you can lie to your wife until I find you the fact? I'm explaining you, right? So, okay. listen, I'm explaining you, right? Okay, so here it says uh -huh. in this hadith, you've told me uh -huh. it is not lawful to like except in three cases something the man tells his wife to please her. Okay, so you can lie if you find your wife ugly, you can say she looks good. This is one thing, right? You're 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 not lying, you're just making an Free exceptional claim, okay. Second, to lie in war. Who would ever be truthful in war? No one would because you're there to deceive your enemy, right? So, third, it says to bring peace. You can bring peace by saying other stuff which is pre 
Separational assumptions. Mm. That's how you can lie in free stuff. Mm. While your Bible so, says... So, okay, so so uh, you can lie to your so, wife. We start with the first one. You can lie to your wife for what reason? What reason? You can lie with your wife? You No, now come into your Bible. It says God no, has instructed... Don't, don't, Ahab. Don't, don't go to my Bible I, first. We, we finish. I, I, I answered you about the Bible already. You need to answer me about this hadith. I showed you Quran. I showed you hadith. Why Allah saying... That the prophet, which is my, you. why I've Allah, why Muhammad, why Allah, why, why the God Allah, he says, why the God Allah Muhammad, he says that the man he can lie to his wife. Why give, a, me, give me give me a reason, give me a reason you can lie to your wife. Give me a reason, give me a reason, give me a reason. Shut up, shut up, don't keep talking. Give me a reason so people will understand how you can lie to your wife in Islam. What is the reason? That. What is the reason? Life, life can also works here at only three places. While in the Bible, your God don't don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't, change the topic. Don't, we will go to the we will go to the Bible. We will go finish this one. You, Abdul, you promised me. You promised me. If I show you, you will answer. You said nowhere it says the prophet can you can lie. Now your prophet, he said you can lie to your wife. You explain, cannot lie. Explain it's to a, us how you can lie to your wife. How you, can lie, say, how you can lie? How you can lie to your wife? How you can lie? I answer you about. I answered you about that already. Don't repeat it again. It's boring. It is boring. You are repeating the same question again. Why your prophet saying you can lie to your wife? I want an answer. So I'm telling you, you can because there's such circumstances where you want to please. Like someone. what? Like what? Like what? Give us, an, give us, give us, an, give us, give us, give us, give us, give us an example. Give us an example. Okay. For example, your wife makes food, right? Mm -hmm. You don't like the food, but you're saying it's good. Mm -hmm. That's one exception where you can lie because there are some relationships which have to have a bond with it. Some preceptional assumptions. No second thing in war. It's common sense to lie in war. Who would say the truth to deceive the enemy? Okay. Third, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Peace. So, 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 is that lie? the only? Is that the only case? Is that the only case? Is that the only no. case in Islam you can lie to your no. wife about marriage? So don't it's only about food. Okay, okay. I found I found the fatwa. I found the fatwa. Shut up. I found I found I found the fatwa about lying to your wife about marriage. Potato, shut up. You asked me to show you the fatwa where it says you can even lie about marrying a new wife. And the fatwa now is in the front of me. I want you to open the fatwa and I want you to read for me what the fatwa say. What do you say? Are you going to deny it now? You're challenging me to find me the, find me the fatwa that you can lie to your wife, including about your marriage. Now, I'm listening. Read it for Over. us. Read it for us. Read the fatwa. No, read the word over. I just told, I just gave you the link. Read it for us. It's what fatwa makes sense. Does it make, make sense? Islam makes sense. Islam, your prophet said you can lie to your wife to make her happy, right? Okay, Let's here we go. This man, right? this this this, this, this is a guy, this is a guy who did marry a woman and he have now a first wife and second wife. Is is, is it lawful for him to lie to his first wife about his marriage? Yes or no? Yes or no? Read, what time are you available? I'm read, read, I don't tell me you will run. What time are you available? I'm available. I'm available. I'm available all the time. Read for me the fatwa first. If you want to leave, you can leave after you the fatwa. No. Okay. I'm saying it's called. If you without these three exceptions, Abdul, if you give me any other reason, it makes no sense. Abdul, you only like I, gave you I gave you, you the fatwa. I gave you the fatwa. I you only like shut, to up. That's shut up. Shut up. Potato. Man. Potato. Son of muta. I swear to Allah. I will divorce my four wife and I will wait for you until you divorce your wife and I will marry her and then I will be the father of your babies. What a filthy religion. Women she exchange husband because he divorced her three times. Now read with me the fatwa. Does it say there that you can lie to your wife if you marry second wife? Yes or no? Yes or, yes or no? Yes or no, coward? Yes or no? Yes or no? So why you lie to us? Why you lie to us and you say this is about lying about food? Why Muslim they make it about silly stuff? You know your wife she asked you is the food is good? You say yes. This is not about it. You can lie about anything you want. But you see guys how they try to make it as like hmm, not a big deal. I mean you can lie to your wife. <laughs> you know she asks you I'm pretty. You say yes but even she is ugly. <laughs> this is not this is about seriously. This is the coward, he 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 hang up, guys. This is a very serious, filthy teaching of Muhammad. 
if the man and the wife, they cannot trust each other, even about marriage. Even he can lie to his wife about having second women, which means he's sleeping already with second women. I mean, don't even the women deserve to know that she, this guy, he have a new wife? What's wrong with you? What kind of religion allowed in the man to lie even about his marriage? This is why the coward here run away. Which time you are available? <laughs> you know, those people, they think they can say things to me and they can get away with it. This is a, you cannot do that with a Christian prince. You cannot do that with me. This is why debating Muslims is not a debate. It's a, like a chase. It's like a mice and a, a cat. He go between the furniture. You have to grab him from his tail and get him out. He opened a topic. Now he is sorry for mentioning this topic. And this is why he want to keep talking about something else. You see the, what they do, what, they, what the Muslims do. They ask you a question. You start answering the question. Before you finish that question answering, they give you a second question because he don't want you to breathe because he's afraid you will ask him a question. You know what I mean? The point of like speaking so fast to the point he will not let you even talk because he's afraid that you might hit him with the question. So he want to go fast, the Bible, and then he says, and then it says, and how come the blood Jesus? He jumped from place to place because he don't want you to hold him from his stupidity. You cannot do that with a Christian prince. What he accuses us with, it is the teaching of his God. And the teaching, you see, what he quote for us from the Bible is about a bad person who is following Satan anyway. God, he created Satan, but he did not create him in Christianity as Satan. He created him as an angel. He disobeyed God and he did choose willingly not like in islam shaitan in islam is a victim of allah allah made him shaitan here we have god teaching us bad ethic and this is what i wanted to talk about today actually why allah cannot be god this is bad ethic this is the most important thing to reject islam religion to reject muhammad as a prophet and to reject the false God, the pagan God, Allah, as God. What kind of God he teach you and teach your wife? Because he, let, let me ask the Muslim question. Can the man only lie to his wife or the wife can lie to her husband? You know what I mean, guys? The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, and the wife, she can lie to her husband too. I mean, what kind of marriage this marriage is? The base of any society is the family. If the family is corrupt and based on lying to each other, what kind of society this society is? Well, he hung up and he left. Coward. What time you are available? What do you mean what time you are available? I'm here. <laughs> Did I tell you I'm leaving? <laughs> what time you are available? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you will learn about Islam to, proving that it's cannot be from God for this is not an ethical religion as you see you can lie you see I can understand that you are lying in the case of the war you know like the enemy capture you and you will not tell the truth otherwise you will you will hurt your your friends uh, your country no problem but lying to your wife Align to your friends. Who's left? Can we fix a society by lying? Can we fix any society by lying? Muhammad is giving us a solution to fix the society, supposedly, to make things work. Supposedly, this is the purpose of this. Can I make my family better family by lying to my family? What's wrong if my wife, she made a food is not tasty. I say to her, oh, too much salt. 
what's wrong with that because if you lie now tomorrow she will make the same cooking the same way and you will eat the same shit excuse me <laughs> is that correct guys what the point of this line why you don't tell me that my cooking today was bad what's wrong with that tell me it's not a crime to tell the truth are you getting my point he gave us an example we will go with his example your wife she cooked for you tastes like garbage honey do you like my cooking oh yeah yeah sure lovely mm, yummy yummy <laughs> man and like in, inside you say what the heck this is taste like shit excuse my language she will do it the same second day for you because you just say it's so yummy i mean how what a stupid answer how you can fix life by lying you know the the uh, what jesus says about lying he said lie all lies is from the devil all lies there's no good lies there's no good lies lies is a lie in islam muhammad he is teaching us that those are good lies and what is the good lies is to like your wife to please her and this is why we see a fatwa that a man he can lie to his wife if he have a second wife and the third wife which means he, he lied to the first one he lied to the second one he, he lied to all of them he will tell each one of them that she is the only wife he have but in fact he is sleeping with four do we have any muslim here would like to call us <clears throat> So the first thing we learn, we learn about Islam, Islam is religion teaching bad ethic. And lying is one of the bad ethic of Islam. As you see, Islam teaching the Muslim that you can speak to non-Muslims, which means Hindus, Buddhas, Christians, Jewish, atheists, doesn't matter. You speak to them friendly, but you are not allowed to be a friend for them. Let not the believers take the believers out of not to take the hypocrite, which means supposed to, we are the hypocrite. Look, look how funny, guys, the Quran, and the Muslim explained this verse saying that we are the hypocrite. Yet the Quran is teaching the Muslims, you can say to the Christians, I love you, but in fact, in your heart is just like this, you hate them. You cannot take then the Jews or the, the or the hypocrite or disbelievers as a friends as to become mighty and honorable. You cannot. A Muslim, he cannot be honorable with you. So what do you have to do to be? You see, even he cannot be noble with you. He have to be trashy. He have to be a scam. He have to be a gang. He have to be a rapist. He cannot be honorable with you. It's forbidden in Islam. In a preference to the believers who are sincere. What does that mean? If a believer he is sincere to take non-Muslim as a friend, look what Allah says about him. Who does that, which means he take you as a friend for real, Seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and disbelievers as a friends. He has no connection with Allah Do you believe it? This is why you see some false people who teach about Islam like uh, James White who claimed that he is a person who have knowledge about Islam He says to you there's many Muslims don't want to kill us and they don't want to hate us So this they are practicing taqiyya you idiot If a Muslim he mean really to be friendly to you if he mean it the, it says in the front of us that if he mean it, he has no connection with Allah, which means he is not a Muslim no more. Do you see it? Who is a wonderful Muslim here would like to call us? To be honest with you, when a Muslim he called me, I feel like I'm afraid. I feel like, oh boy. What the, what the school of thought they said about this? A school of thought? <laughs> I love it when a Muslim he speak a language he himself do not understand. So what the Quran teach, teach a bad ethic. You can speak to Christians in a friendly way. You can, yes, but you don't take them as a friends. This is a very bad ethic. This is not a teaching from God. Hello? Hold on a second, please. <clears throat> well, call me when you are ready. Don't tell me. Hold on a second. 
Ron, you already call me. Don't put me in hold. I mean, am I your friend to put me in hold? <laughs> hold on a second. That's funny. A Muslim calling and hold. He is the one putting me in hold. In hold. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing, Mr. Aziz? I am doing wonderful at the moment. So you are a Muslim, Mr. Aziz? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, why do you think Islam is from the true God? Well, uh, let's talk about what you were talking earlier. Uh -huh. uh, Which is? About the lying. and. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we can go any way you want. The thing is... No problem. Let's, you, let us just start afresh because we, we heard what your friend said. Let me clarify something. Uh -huh. <laughs> All I'm going to talk about is common sense. Reason why is because I am not a scholar. Okay. I haven't studied Islam in a long time. All I do is the regular practice. Okay. Uh... If they ask me about questions, I have to look it up on Google and find the source that I believe in okay. or that I follow. Okay, now we are talking about something. Let us go for it then. You know, here okay. in front of us, chapter 3, verse 28, it says you cannot take the Christians and the Jews as a friends, but you can lie to them, saying to them that you are a friend to them. What do you think about this? Well, I don't think that is true because part of being a Muslim is to follow God and the prophets, okay. correct? All right. And the very most popular story about the prophet is mm -hmm. that his neighbor was a Jew. Can you show me the reference? Uh, a reference, sure. Yeah. Because I, ne I never found this. By reference. the way, can you can you read Arabic? Uh, I will learn from you if you if you want to teach me, no problem. But uh, go go to the topic now. Can you show me the friend of the prophet who was a Jew? I want to yeah, see that. Hold on. Okay, show well, me. Hold on a second, mm -hmm. please. Yeah. <laughs> okay uh should i give you uh the thing is i'll just should i just send you a link on the, yeah yeah you can uh, show you, you can show me a link so we can show it to everybody in the screen no problem cool. all right all right i will open for you yeah go ahead and okay i will open the reference you gave me by the way my reference is uh i learned it in two different schools mm -hmm. and that's back when i was a little child yeah and two different countries okay but as I, as, I, as I know the reference you gave me is not a reference is that a reference really i, I don't know what do you mean by a you reference, gave me a link what is the reference for the story of the jew Hold on. And the prophet met there on a school of learning language. They would decide and worship, educate themselves. Mm -hmm. There is no compulsion mm -hmm. in religion. Well, I thought you might tell me the reference See, about the Jew because that reference, my friend, is a lie. Do you know that? The Muslims, how can it be a lie? Well, it's a lie. Give me the reference then. It's a lie. Give me well, the reference. I will give you 10 years to find the reference about that story. What do you say? Well, it is in the Sirah of Muhammad. Did you show it to me. Do you really want to read the Sirah of Muhammad? <laughs> My friend, we are we, we are here to... You, you said to me, you are the that, one who said to me. That's what I'm asking. Aziz, Aziz, you really Aziz, Aziz, Aziz you are the one who Go said ahead. to me, I am not a scholar, but I have a common sense. And now you mentioned to me common sense. You said to me, there is a story. There is a story. Then you need to show me the story. I What I know okay. about this story is a fabrication. There is no reference of it. Okay, well then no. there's okay. there's no point. No, no. then no then, pro there's no point to mention it then. Then don't go there. Then okay now then you win the point. Okay, no problem. Then the, the you said to me that there is a the verse a verse in the Quran that says there's no complosion in Islam, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, what this verse is about? What chapter, what verse? Uh that's what it says in the in the source. Where? What chapter? You are reading for me, right? Uh, chapter two, say, just to be sure, we are, we are reading the same thing. Says, let's see, let me go in there. Chapter 
chapter 2, ayah 256. Correct. Okay. But this verse, my friend, but this verse my friend, is about the mm -hmm. opposite. It's about a group of people don't want to allow their children to convert to Islam. So the prophet, he said, you cannot force them not to convert to Islam. This is not about forcing people not to convert to Islam. It's about forcing people not not to accept Islam. Which means if you are if you are a Christian and you have a son who want to convert mm -hmm. to Islam, Muhammad saying to him, you cannot force your children into a religion he don't want. But the prophet, he said, the one who changes religion kill him. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Yeah. So that means this verse doesn't go for the Muslims. This verse must be about something else. Because if you change your religion, you are going to be killed. So here, some if, of those people. If, okay, my, ahead, my friend, my friend, my friend. I, I don't want to interrupt. Yeah. Go ahead, you go see, ahead. you said you speak Arabic, right? And this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. There is no go conclusion ahead. in religion. No one from among the people of the book and the 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 the, uh, uh, the pagans should be recorded to believe in the divine of the oneness of uh, Allah after the Arab embrace Islam. So this is revealed about a bunch of people who they are not letting their children to convert to Islam. So Muhammad said to them, you cannot force people not to convert to Islam, but you just agreed that if somebody decide to leave Islam, he will be killed. So how does verse fit with the with the agreement that Muhammad will kill anyone leave Islam? That's mean you can you will be forced to stay as a Muslim. So this so, verse this verse have nothing to do with what you said and the, the interpretation of the verse proving that this is about a group of people they are not allowing their children to convert to Islam. Who Muhammad said to them, oh you cannot do that. You cannot that, you force not force not your children not to join the religion. We cannot there is no enforcement on them. But so may it, I speak now? Mm -hmm. For example, you're a Christian, correct? Mm -hmm. I can't force you to become a Muslim. That's not true. That is that's true. I can't force you to become a okay, Muslim. Okay, read for correct? me chapter nine, verse twenty-nine then. Uh, I, I can't read, I'm working at the moment. Oh, uh, okay. But, well, but but do you know what verse this, do you know what chapter what do you know what chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine says, Mr. Aziz? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, okay. I, I, Let I'm me help not, you. I no, don't remember right. No problem, Quran. no problem. Uh, 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 you are an Arab, as I understand, correct? Yes, I am. All right. You know Ibn Kathir, correct? Ibn Kathir? Yes. Yes, is I he do, I've heard of him. Is, he, is he, he a is. trustworthy for you or he is not? I don't know who he is. I know I've heard of him, but I don't know who which, he is. Which scholar you agree with? Which scholar is yours, your favorite? I don't have a favorite. You have to give me something. Then should we go to Mikhail? Just, then? just, just look up whatever you want. Okay, no problem. You see, I'm like trying. I said, I'm I just trying to. to I'm just trying to help you. You see, in in your go statement. Ahead. Okay, you said we cannot force you to convert to Islam. This is not what the Quran says. In chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine, it says that Allah He ordered the Muslims to fight and to kill the Christians and the Jews unless they pay jizya or they convert to Islam, and this jizya have to be done with humiliation. And have to be subdued, you know, disgraced. Read with me carefully. I don't know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen, my friend? I, I can't. No, actually. Okay, let me give you a link. Is that okay? okay go ahead. I give you a link. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you can open it from your side, I guess, right? Yeah, I can because I'm calling from my phone. So oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Can you open it for me? I read for me, please. Yeah, hold on. A second. Go down where it says the order to fight people of the scriptures until they give the jizya. Uh, which one did you say? Go down until it says the order to fight the people of the scriptures until they give jizya. I don't see it. Uh, is it? Go down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. It says, uh, let, let me fight for you in Arabic so that will be easier for you. It says, yes. Do you see it in Arabic? No, the last one that I see is, Bissalam. Bissalam. Bissalam, yeah. yes. So uh, uh, if you go before, before, uh, before that, all right, before that, go up a little bit. You will see it okay. says, Right, okay. Now, okay. there the interpretation saying 
that you fight them for a reason. What is the reason? Because they refuse to accept Islam. So you just said to me, we cannot force you to accept Islam, but you fight me because I don't accept Islam. And okay. then, and then you have to force me. You have to force me to pay the jizya. And then, if I don't pay the jizya, you will kill me. So why, why you have to to force me? If you go and and uh, and uh, and uh, flip the page, or you can read the whole page there, you, you will see. You do agree with me? This situation is when a war is going on. Correct. The, it's no? your prophet who launched the war. Yeah, but you do agree with me that Islam, this my friend, my friend, my friend, this is an order for Muslim to fight this war forever. Fight those who don't believe, not those who are fighting you. Fight anyone who don't believe. This is an order I, from your prophet, from your God, that, to fight anyone. Okay, let me ask you. Uh, do, you do you read what it says there? It says that when, when the Arabian Peninsula was secured under mm -hmm. the Muslim control, Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scriptures. The Jews and the okay. Christians, all right. So Allah commanded him to fight who the Christians and the Jews until what until they believe. So this is a duty the Muslims carry on. It's not only this is the order from Allah for all the Muslims, not they, only for a certain time. Actually, that is for a certain time because can you that's prove it? when the beginning of Islam. Can you prove that's it? What, can you prove that this is was only for a certain time? Yes, because it's How? talking about How? Uh, because it's talking about the era of Muhammad but Muhammad my friend Islam okay in the Arabic Peninsula okay see when the Arabic when the Islam came to the Arabic Peninsula uh -huh. as you and I know mm -hmm. that it started in Mecca and then mm -hmm. he migrated to Medina mm -hmm. which Medina was half Jews and half Christians mm -hmm. are we good at that point uh, no because I don't think that Medina was half Christian anyway but then anyway, was it? but that's not important. Okay, what happened next? Okay, uh, well, okay, let's, it, it doesn't matter. So mm -hmm. let's just say, as I was told, it's half Muslims, half Christians. Mm -hmm. There was a treaty that was made between the Prophet and those two tribes. The one tribe well, that was Jews, mm -hmm. Jews, and the other tribe was Christians. But this is not about this, my friend. This is in the in the year, the nine year of Hijrah. Do you know how to read, right? It says in the nine year of Hijrah, this is all is over now. And Muhammad decide to kill the Christians who they are out of the Arabian Peninsula. He is done. He killed all the Christians. He killed all the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula. Read with me the carefully. Hijra, yeah, the it, says, it says, happened. Read, read carefully, Abdul, uh, my friend. Read, read carefully. Uh, uh, Arabia, me, Arabian, Peninsula, Arabian Peninsula was secured under the Muslim control, which means there is nobody there except Muslims. Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scriptures. The Jews and the Christians of on the nine year of the Hijrah, he prepared an army to fight the Roman. Is that the first one? Yeah, well, it's in front of you. The, same yeah, yeah. Yeah. the Roman, the Roman there, there's no Roman in the Wallah. Arabian Peninsula. There is no Roman in the Arabian Peninsula. Why your there prophet was. why your prophet when I attack the Roman? The Roman, yeah. It says as, here, as we all know, there was three empires back then: the Roman, mm -hmm. the Persian, the, and then he, okay. the Muslim. I don't care why. Why he want to attack the Roman? Because the Romans mm -hmm. took Jerusalem. To look at from whom? Took it from whom? But your prophet they took it from those people that are there. From who? Who? Who are they? Those people who they are there? They are Jews. Are you sure? Or or Ben Israel? Okay, but as I know, your God, Allah, He mm -hmm. raised the Roman and He believed they are good people. Of course, God is not gonna disgrace a human. He created my friend. You you are saying God. He wanna fight the Roman. He wanna fight the Roman, but Allah He called the Roman believers and He called them a great people in the Quran. If you go to chapter who, three, the Quran says that. Believe. My friend, my friend, listen. Don't, 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 don't to jump. You said that because the Roman they took Jerusalem, that the Roman they are in Jerusalem for the last 400, 500 years. So nothing new. Okay. So why now he want to attack the Roman? Why? Well, you know, what, what the problem? And the Quran in chapter uh, uh, chapter 30, there's a chapter, it's called the chapter of Rome. You heard of it? A room? What is it? What is it? The chapter of the a Roman. Room. Yeah, a room, yes. which means the Roman. The room. So there's a chapter, have their names. Allah, he called mm -hmm. the Roman as a good believers. Mm hmm. So how Allah want to fight the Roman who they are good believers? How Allah wants to fight the Romans? Yeah, if they See? are, if, if he is praising them and he promised them victory. Why Allah promised him victory? Okay, we'll hear. I'll tell you why. <laughs> why? So 
as you probably do know, we do respect the prophets that got sent. And Isa, which is Jesus, is one of them. Mm -hmm. Now, when Isa traveled from Egypt to mm -hmm. Jerusalem, mm -hmm. that's where we believe that the Bible was fabricated. And that's why well, this the order to do with my was... Topic, my, friend. My, my topic is this. You're, 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 you're going so far. I'm asking you, why, why, the I'm prophet, giving you the reason. why the prophet attacked the Roman? Because mm. the Romans mm. changed or fabricated mm. the Bible. And there was but a your prophet, that my friend, my friend, my friend, the Roman have nothing to do with this for a very simple reason. Your God approving them as believers in the time of Muhammad, not after. Chapter 30 in the Quran was given to Muhammad during his mm -hmm. lifetime, and the Roman already are Christians. Read with me what, what the Quran says. The Roman has been defeated in the land close by. By they, even after this defeat, of there will be soon victorious within a few years with Allah in decision, in the past, in the future, and on the day that the shall believer rejoice. So he called them as believers who rejoice victory. So how you are saying to me the Roman they are the one who corrupt the Bible and Allah he called them as believers who rejoice victory soon. So who who is the Jesus that made the golden? Don't, don't uh, my friend don't change topic. The Quran, I'm not changing the topic. Okay, the Quran is calling calling the Roman the Quran calling the Roman believers. How they are people who change the Bible, but yet Allah he called them believers. Okay, they're believers because they believe in a book that God has revealed. But you just the said Bible. they changed the Bible. That is the wrong book. They cannot be. You cannot be a believer if you believe in the book of the devil. Are okay. you? Okay, so you can't believe in a book that is written by the devil. That is correct. Yes. So then, then God should not call you a believer in the true God if you believe. Like for me, my God is Jesus. Is that okay. will make me a believer or will make me a kafir? The Quran says we are kuffar. That is correct. Okay, so how the Quran called the Roman as believers? Because God said that the Romans are disbelievers because they believe that Jesus is a God and says that I But did he called them believers. He did not call them pagans. The Quran called the Christians pagans. Kuffar. Yes. And so why he is why he is happy? He's saying those Roman they will be victorious and the believers will rejoice. Why he's happy for them to be victorious? If Muhammad he want to kill them all. And the Roman should be killed for changing the Bible. So why Allah saying, "Oh, they will be, don't don't worry, be happy. They will be victorious, and the believers will rejoice." One second, please. So your question was, why did God said that the Romans will be rejoice, and why the believer will be rejoice? Which means even the Muslims they consider them they are brothers and sisters, and we will rejoice together because the, if you go to the interpretation, you will see that the pagans and the Arab they said to Muhammad, "Aha, you claim to be you are you have the same God of the Christians." Here we go, the Christian they lost the war with the Persian, so Muhammad he got them a verse back saying, "No, no, hold on, those believers will rejoice victory soon again." So why Muhammad in few years after he himself he want to kill them? Does it make sense? Uh, I'm not understanding. My friend, here he That's is. True. Here he is promising the Roman victory, and he is going to celebrate with them victory. The believers will rejoice, including the Muslims will rejoice. Rejoice what? Rejoice the victory of the Roman. So how the Roman are pagans and they are bad, and that you will rejoice with them the victory? Because, uh -huh. like I said, Muhammad said that he promised the believers winning against the romans no the romans no my part. friend the, the, here here the one who who is a promise to win is the roman <laughs> the roman this the is the roman yeah promise to win my friend my friend you are not listening i understand okay. i respect your honesty you said to me i'm not a scholar i do not know much so this is why i'm going easy with you this verse okay. promising the roman victory and the verse saying when the roman victorious became victorious the believers will rejoice not the believers Will rejoice over victory over the Roman losing. No, the Roman will be win winning the war, and the believers will rejoice. So Allah here is speaking good of the Roman. So how they are the one who changed the Bible, yet Allah will give them victory, and the believers will rejoice for the believer Christians. They had victory. Just one second, please. I have a customer. Mm -hmm. He's gone. Where is he?
Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. No problem. There's going to be a lot of interruption because I am at work right I now. I understand. No problem. Yeah. Uh, You know, it looked like this topic is complicated for you. Let's make it simple for you. You said to me something about the Bible is being corrupt. What Bible is corrupt? What is Bible? Bible of Allah is corrupt? Well, if, if, if the Bible is not corrupted. No, 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 I'm not asking you this. I'm asking you, which Bible is okay. the one you believe it's corrupt? The Bible of Allah? The Bible of Allah? Is corrupt, yeah. Well, Allah sent the Bible, yes. Right, so, so, it, is yes. The Bi so it is the Bible of Allah is corrupt. Yes. Okay. You as a Muslim, how for God's sake you accept that you have a God, his name is Allah, mm -hmm. and he cannot protect his Bible? Well, that I don't know. Okay, I like this quick answer, but don't you, uh, don't you, you just said that it is the prophet you want to attack the Roman because they changed the Bible, but it's the fault of who? Is it the fault of the man? The man is corrupt. People are corrupt. The human being is corrupt. If I have a book, I have responsibility. To protect my book as an example i have five six seven books all of them they are published if somebody tried to change anything of them i would take him to court and i have the original to prove it now this is god his name is allah supposedly and he sent the book it's called torah and he sent the book it's called Injil. why allah is willing to protect only the quran but he don't want to protect the torah and the Injil, like the torah and the Injil, like a yellow pages for him it's not worth that, to protect them that, that's a good that's a good one that that i always question myself is why did god send the tour and then it was messed around with and then god sent another book which is the bible mm -hmm. and then it was messed around with mm -hmm. and why not the quran messed around with mm -hmm. so now what that do i don't know the answer to okay because I, I will help to you. me is you, you sound a decent guy as you sound a decent guy i, I really respect you to I'm, me it sounds like what kind of god would send so many holy books okay yet they all get corrupted except the last one right that that See, doesn't, doesn't make sense and you are but, the person of sense and logic i like that exactly yet we do both agree that we are humans and us humans cannot cannot judge what god can do correct well, not not in the logic of the Muslims. As, as an example, the Muslim they always judge God. They say how God can be a man. <laughs> so you are judging God, you know. Well, you, you say how I, God I can be a man. You are questioning if God can or He cannot. So you do. But you see here well, the, the question here. The question here: If Allah mm -hmm. is God and He is eternal and His words are equal, I mean, it's a funny if somebody want to say to me that the word of God is not equal to the word of God. Do you agree? Wait, wait. Say that again. If somebody say to you that the word of God is not equal to the word of God, don't that look funny and stupid? What is that supposed to mean? It doesn't mean anything. No, so yes, of it, course it's stupid. Yeah, so the word of God must be equal. So now the, the Torah is the word of God, the, the Injil is the word of God, the Quran is the word of God according to Muslims. So why exactly. Allah, why Allah, he don't care to protect the, the, the others when all of them, they are the word of God anyway? Well, I'll tell you this, and don't take me as you know as a as a mean guy if you can find the answer to that i'll be more than happy because i really want to pick the correct religion well my friend first of all the quran is not protected i don't know if you know the story like as an example do you know the story about the goat who ate the quran yes i do okay what well, well, so how how the muslims and you are a muslim believe the quran is protected but yet we have a clear evidence sahih hadith saying the quran was eaten eaten by by a goat and now those verses are missing because as if i if you allow me to go back to the main mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. the main point is in order to believe in islam you must believe the seerah of muhammad and muhammad peace upon him said mm -hmm. that the, and also god said that the quran your phone is ready sir just one second please All right, guys, he is a he looked like he have a store or something. So, guys, this guy is trying to be. Uh, you see, if you are a Muslim like Mr. Aziz, I will talk to you until tomorrow. He don't shout, he don't play games. I like that. At least he is being honest.
right? He he have the right to defend his religion, no problem. I mean, you are welcome to defend your religion, but don't uh, flood us with your voice and shout and scream. And you think by doing that, you are going to get away with it. You cannot do that with me. He said that uh, uh, he don't, you know, he don't understand really how Allah don't or what he will not protect the Torah and he will not protect the gospel. This guy is in, in his way to leave Islam. Just wait. He just admitted that there's something fishy here. Allah, he sent 124,000 prophet. Yet only the Quran he want to protect, which means there's 124,000 books are gone. We will wait for him to call uh, to uh, to go get back. He's still online with me, but uh, he have like uh, customers in his store. Anyway, guys, please invite your friends. Hey, uh, do you want me to call you back because it's no. going to be a little while? No problem, Aziz. You're welcome. You can call me anytime. I'm ready. I'm you. glad to meet you and to talk to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care, guys. The the lie which Muslims they believe in that the Quran is protected. Here we go in front of you. This is the wife of the Prophet. Is speaking about a goat who ate the Quran, and now there's many verses in the Quran, chapters are missing. Where we can find the stoning to death verse, it's gone. Where is the protection? According to the scholars, according to Umar al Khattab, who is a companion of Muhammad, who Allah Himself He took Quran from him. The Quran was a thousand thousand and twenty five thousand letter, which mean a million twenty five thousand. What is left now is less than two hundred seventy thousand letter, which mean more than eighty percent of the Quran is eaten by the goat. It's not really a verse or a chapter or two. Look like this goat, she was angry. And trust me, a goat, she can eat the whole book easy. I don't know if you ever see a goat. They eat anything. They eat papers. They eat plastic. They eat anything. Any one of you saw goats? They eat anything in their way. Anything. This is why, you know, even the word goat, they call, I think they, they call it goat because she eat anything. This is why they can survive easy. You know, you can take a goat to the desert. Uh, uh, and this is why people of the desert they have goats they don't have really sheep because sheep they need water a lot they need the grass they need certain kind of food when the goat she can eat anything uh, uh, what what they call those things like the plant who have needles which nobody can eat the goat can eat it easy she chew it she eat it as if it's like a falafel uh, so they have a special build to survive a very tough weather they can climb the mountains uh, uh, you know they can live in a cold area they can live in a very uh, uh, harsh area a desert area they they can survive easy so the quran is a protected is a big fat lie allah he could not even stop a goat okay the goat ate the quran where is the verses now according to this hadith there's uh, 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 there's a verses about stoning to death stoning to death all right it says here the verses of his stoning which means stoning to death are missing this you see here it says the verse now there is no way the goat will eat a verse I mean imagine guys we have a page the 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 the, the goat ate the verse <laughs> You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? The verse is a small, tiny words. I mean, few words. The goat ate only the verse. Only this verse. So the goat ate whatever in her way, and now they are remembering the most important things. The goat ate. It is the verse of stoning. So we do not know what else has gone with it. Like the goat, there's no way she will eat only this verse, and she will skip the other verse. It's not something you can lick like a yogurt in a page. 
the whole page is gone so whatever in that page at least let us say for god's sake i mean for the sake of argument one page the page have in the front the page have in the back and there is no way two pages just a one verse then it says here and the breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed so those verses are gone too which i really i wish they are there because this is a verse where Allah he ordered the Muslim women to give her beautiful boobs. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. I wish I can uh, do that every day. I, you know, actually, I was thinking to open a drive through breastfeeding in Las Vegas. Man, oh man. The Arab Muslim tourists, they will come from around the world to visit this store. Drive through breast adult feeding. You open your window. We have a small windows where women they put their boobs coming out and you suckle and you pay i mean we accept the credit card we accept we accept anything hmm? this is the religion you see we go back to the ethic of islam what kind of ethical god he teach women she can give her boobs you know muslim women you cannot shake hands with them brother but we can shake their boobs and we can suck their nipples and now this idiot goat, I hate her very much. She could not eat different verse. She ate my favorite verse on the Quran. I mean, look how lucky I am. You get all the Quran. All the Quran. What about eating the chapter about the ant? Huh? What about eating a chapter about uh, vegetables? Why you choose this one? I mean, it's not even fair. I'm angry now. You don't want to see Christian Prince when he's angry. Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? So the lie about Quran is protected is a big fat lie. Allah could not even stop a goat. And you know what? Let us say for the sake of argument, the goat ate the Quran. Let us do this. You, you, know, you know me, I'm very good in art, right? You know me, I'm an artist as by birth. You know, when my mom she gave birth to me, they found the pen and the, the paint brush in my hand. You believe it? Yeah, I don't know where I get them from, but they found it in my hand. It's a true story. You can find it in Sahil Bukhari. So if we go and we say that there was a goat, this is a goat. Hmm? The goat ate some pages of the Quran. Yummy, yummy. This is the Quran. Oh, he's calling back. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yes, Aziz. How are you? Sorry, doing? it's no problem. No problem. It's a so, hectic day. You gotta reach the American dream by working every day. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. No problem. Okay. So, so my friend, we, we, we were. Where did we get to? Yeah, we were talking about the Quran is it protected or not, you know, and the the, the gospel is it protected or not. You see, in the front of me, uh, you mentioned to me the story. Uh, I mentioned to you the story of the goat who ate the Quran, and you said you know about it, right? Yeah. So this goat ate the Quran. Okay. How then the Muslims they say to us, Allah protected the Quran when the goat was able to defeat Allah by this story. Well. You know, if, if you look at today's, you know, daily things, mm -hmm. you would see a lot of Qurans being destroyed or burned, mm. correct? That that doesn't mean that the Quran is being burnt everywhere. Am I, are we on the same point? Yeah, but this is nothing, nothing so, to do with my topic. Yeah, so this, this is not today, and this is not the topic of where the Quran first got printed. Yeah. So we agree on the same point. Yeah, but you now, see the here. the thing is, how hmm. would the Quran be copied exactly the same if some of it was eaten by a goat? Mm -hmm. So now we have Correct. verses are missing, right? Okay. So the thing is, the, the reason why I believe in it is not just because my dad told me or such and such told me or such and such told me. It's because I studied Arabic and... 
I am glad the fact that I'm fluent in Arabic. The fact that no human being can put words in Arabic together to be that perfect. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, God said that the Quran is not just saved through the book or the copy, but it's saved through, uh, how do you say, it? memorized through the memories of Muhammad and his Okay, that's wonderful. So, we, so now we, we can find okay. the verses for death, stoning to death, as long as they are surviving by the memory. Can you quote for me the verse of stoning? The, the verse of who? Stoning to death, or the verse about breastfeeding for adult. Can you recite the verse for me? You said, okay, the goat ate it, but however, Allah protected because the Quran is protected by the heart of the believers. But we cannot yes. find, we cannot find the verses of his of, of stoning or verses about breastfeeding for adult or five ten time or five time. Can you recite for me the verses of uh, breastfeeding for adult ten time? Okay. For example, those that uh, like when does somebody get stoned? Uh, first. First, uh, first occasion is if you commit uh, rape. Aziz, this is not a question. Aziz, not, okay. I'm not asking you about yeah. this. You, you say that the Quran is protected anyway by the heart of the believers, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you quote for me, or any Muslim, can he quote for me the verses of five time adult breastfeeding? Can you quote the verse for me? What does that mean? There's a verse in the Quran which is missing. God uh -huh. ate it about 10 time breastfeeding for adult. In case you do not know what does that mean, your prophet he allowed Muslim women he ordered them to give their breast to a stranger, if in order to stay with them or to meet with them. So, with my respect to your family, I don't mean to be respectful. If you have a wife, she have to give her breast to a stranger, and he have to suck at ten different time in order for him to be lawful to sit next to her in one room. This verse we cannot find so, in the Quran. Can you recite it for me? So if I want to sit with a woman, yes, you have I should suck her breast. Ten yes, times? yes, you have to suck it ten times, and this is was a verse in the Quran. But what is the point of it? I, I ask your prophet. I'm not the prophet. The prophet he come with points nobody understand. He's your prophet, not mine. For me, okay. I believe this is very so, bad. You know, I don't want to be. I actually want to look at that because okay, I let me get, let me that. let me give you the the link. Here we go. Open the link, please, and read it for us. It's in Arabic. It's in English. You, you choose to read in whatever language you wish. Okay. Yeah. So here we have an ethical problem, and we have a problem with protecting the Quran because there's, according to this hadith alone, there's a chapter about breastfeeding for adult ten time is gone. There's a chapter about fifth time, five five time breastfeeding for adult is gone, and there's a chapter about stoning to death is gone. In the top of that, the Prophet teaching Muslim women to give their breast. Okay. So, what do you think, Aziz? One second. What is the name of the hadith? Because I want to read. Uh, uh, what is it called? I want to read. I want to read it in simple Arabic. Well, the the, uh, the link there have Arabic, my friend. The link there huh? have Arabic. You can't see the Arabic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can I can see that Arabic, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> you will laugh at me. It's gonna be hard for me to understand it all. Yeah, but you said you are fluent in Arabic, so you are not fluent in Arabic. Well, this is. We all know that the Arabic. Okay, has let me read for you. Let me read for you. Let the me, the no, one we no practice no, today no, is. No, Aziz, no problem. My Arabic is perfect. Okay. I will read for you. All right. Go ahead. I understand your Arabic is not good. Hadathana Abu Salama Yahya etc etc. Let's go to the Hadith. It says, "An Aisha, wa an Abd al-Rahman ibn al-Qasim an Abihi an Aisha qalat laqad nazalat ayat al-Rajim wa wada'at al-Kabir ashara wa laqad kana fi sahifa tahtu sariri." فلما مات رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تشاغلنا بموته دخل داجن فأكلها. Here we go. Done. So this is so, verses about stoning to death and verses about 
breastfeeding for adult 10 times and when they were busy with the death of the prophet a goat get in and ate the crown and here you will see it says عشر, which means an order for the Muslim woman to give her breast to an adult a man and he have to suck her breast 10 times until he is satisfied and that will make him allowed to sit with that woman actually there's different hadith says that Aisha before she allowed a man to enter upon her she ordered her sister to give him her breast 10 times in order for him to go and be in the room alone with Aisha yeah I've never heard of that actually there's a fatwa I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised as is there's a big fatwa in Egypt from the head of the Islamic Center of the Hadith the Dean huh, of Al-Azhar University I'm sure you heard about Al-Azhar he, yes. he made a fatwa that any women she want to mix with men she have to give them her breast and there's well, actually yeah uh, and, you, and you, you might let's let's laugh a little bit fatwas there is a lot of fatwas these days but this is and the, but this is your uh, prophet fatwa there's there's something that i laugh about in my religion which is anybody making a fatwa my friend this is not anybody this is the head of the islamic center the dean of the Al-Azhar university making the fatwa and when the people ask him well, how you say that he said this is not my fatwa this is the fatwa of the prophet so the fatwa is what it's an order from god by your prophet w what does it say well, uh, as you see, this is a verse from the Quran says that a Muslim woman she can she have to give herself her boobs to a strange man. He have to suck her nipples ten times until he's satisfied. Not in the same day. He have to do it in ten different day, and each time he have to do it until he cannot do it no more. He stop. That's it. He's satisfied. So in in this, uh, I don't know. You can search it on YouTube. I wish I can play it for you, but they have copyright over it. Uh, uh, you know. In the in the uh, interview with the dean of the Azhar University, the, uh, the the host, the women, she asked him, "Well, are you saying if I go in the bus, I have to give my breast to everybody in the bus?" He said, "Yes." And she said, "Do you know how many men here work with me in the studio? Are you saying to me I have to make them all suck my breast ten times until they are satisfied in ten different days?" He said, "Yes." He said, "How that can be?" He said, "Ask the ask the prophet." That is because this is the order of the prophet. There is there is a story in case you, do not, you are not aware. There is a woman. Her name is Sahla bin Tushuhail. Sahla, she is the one who came to the Prophet and she said, said to him that she have a growing man, a slave, who is entering upon her, and her husband is not happy with the way he look at her or the way that say he is in the house. So the Prophet, she said, uh, give him your boobs, let him suck it ten time. The woman, she said. How I can make him suck my breast if he is a growing man? The prophet said, Well, I know he is a growing man. Let him suck your breast. So the story, you know, the story about uh, about this is coming from your prophet. And, uh, you know, uh, how you can explain it? Uh, no, explain it to me. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm right now reading about it, actually. Okay. Uh, there are many things. Mm. Uh, although what is strange is I don't know why they have Abi Hudayfa in it. Yeah, Abu Abu Hudayfa supposedly uh, he is the husband. The husband of this wife he okay. is unhappy with Salim Salim is a slave she owned and he is a growing man so Abu Huzaifa is unhappy with seeing this man in the house so she is asking the Prophet what I should do the Prophet he told her give him your breast and let him suck it but she said how he can suck it he is a growing man yeah, it says in the in the Salimun Kad Belaga Maya Blue Rajal Wahapala Mahapulu or in the Hu Yat Hulu Alaina Ni of the Nu and Nafi Nafsi Abi Hodaisa Mindali Kashay and Fakala Lahan Nabi Sallallahu Ali was Salam or the A Saharami Ali Wayan Habu Ladi Finafs Finafsi Abi Hodaisa. 
فرجعت فقالت اني قد ارضعته فذهب الذي في نفس ابي حذيفه رواه مسلم وابنه سهيل هي سهله هي سهله بنت سهيل بن عمرو القرشي اما العامري امراه ابي حذيفه so this is the the same one we're talking about right right, right. so what do you think okay. so here is a قد أجاب جمهور أهل العلم عن قصة سالم بأجوبة منها أنه حكم من أنه حكم منسوخ ومنها أنه خاص بسالم وأمرأة أبي حذيفة. منسوخ hmm. by by five the, the نسخ here is it was ten time then uh, Muhammad okay. he make it five times so it's still this order for every Muslim woman she have to do she have to give her breast to a stranger and he can suck it ten time do you agree with that Aziz? Yeah. Are you going to allow no. with my respect to your wife? I don't mean any insult. No. Do you allow your wife yes. to do that? One second, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's okay. He's busy. Let us see. Let us see what he will say. Is he going to allow his wife to give her breast to a stranger? You see, this is the main reason Islam cannot be from the true God. Ethic in Islam is a joke. What kind of a prophet he advise a woman to give her boobs to a growing man to suck it and that supposedly will stop the anger of the husband? Who of you Muslims would like to invite me to his house? And he said watching me sucking the boobs of his wife and that supposedly will cool you down. If you do that, you must be a perverted man. And what about the man who is sucking the boobs of your wife? What do you think will happen to him? And what do you think will happen to your wife, a man he is uh, licking and sucking her nipples? What kind of solution this solution is? We are fixing the problem that the man is looking at the women in the dirty way by giving the man the opportunity to suck my wife boobs? <laughs> We are Muslims. We are very conservative. Conservative, better. We are very conservative. Like what conservative? Yes, our wife. She wear uh, burqa. Well, burqa, but she she have to. Uh, she have to give her boobs to a stranger, and he have to he can suck it ten times. Thank God, I'm not married. I'm not a Muslim. Otherwise, I will have a long line of men in front of my door if she is beautiful. Every homeless in the world, if you live in San Francisco, you will find a lot of homeless. You know, every homeless in this in the city will come and uh, get a, a, a free sucking. If my wife, she go in the train, she have to give her boobs to everybody in the train. I mean, Islam is very logical and it makes sense and it's very decent religion very much yes aziz i got another customer I'm no sorry. problem no problem no problem Go ahead. so, so Go what, ahead. Do you, what do you think if 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 uh, you know if i was asking you with my respect to you about, about your wife are you going to follow the prophet and do this you will let your wife give her breast to someone of course not okay so why your pro why the prophet what kind of a prophet he claimed that his god order him to do that because as you see this is a verse in the quran yeah, see, so that's the thing is, I, I've never heard of it. So, this is supposed to be a verse in the Quran. As I showed you, if you remember the haste before I showed you when we were talking about the protection of the Quran, that uh -huh. the, the goat ate, and this is why you asked me uh, about this uh, uh, adult feeding thing. And this is why I mentioned to you the other story. So, this is a verse in the Quran. Read with me carefully. It says, uh, so those are chapters in the Quran. This is not only a hadith. Allah, he made supposedly a chapter about it in the Quran, at least verses. And this verse is abrogated by another verse, which it says, instead of the women doing that 10 times, she can do it five times. What ayah is that? We cannot find it in the Quran. This is what we're talking about. Oh, the goat, oh okay. The, so the, the basically, goat, this is something that is missing. This is missing by, by, okay. by Mrs. Goat. The goat ate it. Okay. You know? Okay. So this is missing because the goat ate it. Right. But as okay. you see, the Muslims agree upon it. And until now, people, they are doing fatwa because this is in the hadith. It's a real story. Your prophet, he mentioned, and he talked about, and even he support his opinion by a verse coming from his God 
that a Muslim woman she can give her boobs to a stranger, he suck it. So even if she, if you watch the, the, the TV show, the Egyptian TV show, the woman she asked him, she said, I have like a 500 men work in this studio. Should I give my breast to all of them and suck it? He said, yes. And when people, they start uh, like cursing this guy and humiliating him, he told them, you are all of you a bunch of ignorant. This is not my word. This is the prophet saying that. And he showed him the story. Okay. I'm just going to, if you don't mind, I'm just going to keep reading this. No problem. So I just see uh, Aziz. Is because that... no, there's no, I, I don't want to offend you. Anything on the TV, I don't believe. And that is due to something that happened to me when I was a little child. I, I, I don't believe uh, in TV. I, I agree with something you. Something happened and Aziz. I saw it in my eyes I and then not... I saw it on the TV and it was a lie. So, I, okay, go ahead. I don't, go ahead. I, I'm not, I'm not asking you to go by the TV. This, I'm, yeah. I just mentioned this, this guy, the Dean of the Azhar University. This is not okay. a guy who, or, who own a, a, a Pepsi Cola store. This is a professional a religious man respected hired by the government approved by government to present the country in the case of religion so this is the highest authority of islam this is not you and anyone this is a person who spent his life he's a scholar and he have many books and he, he, he made a fatwa and the fatwa is not from him he is just quoting what your prophet said this is a hadith narrated by aisha is aisha a, a, a woman coming from the tv no so, okay, well, but the thing is, as as I kept treating, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's saying that this is not true, and the reason why, mm -hmm. and see, they list here is, قال القاضي عياض ابن إكمال المعلم بفوائد مسلم كتاب رضاعة باب رضاعة الكبير قوله في الحديث أرضعيه يذهب ما في نفس أبي حذيفة وفي الطريق الآخر تحرم and this is an ayah, this is from the Quran. So basically, two years of breastfeeding to the little child. And then it says, with a قوله لا إرضاع بعد فطام وقوله إنما الرضاع من المجاعة. So you you only breastfeed. Yeah, but my friend, this is you see those people they are mixing. You are reading just an article. This is not true because this is about a child. This case is not about breastfeeding. Here, breastfeeding is not for milk. There's no milk here. This woman, but this woman, she's an old woman, Aziz. Women they have milk only when they give birth. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So the woman here is an old woman. She is not a young woman. She don't have a baby. She's not giving birth. So how is going to suck her breast? And there's no milk anyway. Well, like I said, see, I don't agree with that. And here is they're they're agreeing that that what she told me is incorrect because God said la riba abad al fitam. No rada al fad al fiqah for for children. This is have nothing to do with children. Those are adult. This is the verse of adult breastfeeding, not for children. That different topic. You see, when the Muslim make articles, it's very funny. Nobody is using his logic. And you are a person who likes logic, right? So the topic they are talking about is nothing to do with our topic. Here is not about breastfeeding for milk. Here is about a man sucking the nipples of a woman. She don't have milk. You see, Aisha, she never had babies, correct? Yeah. Okay, can I suckle from Aisha? I mean, what, what the point? She have no milk anyway. And Aisha, because she is the wife of the Prophet and nobody should do that with her, she was ordering her sister to do that. But her sister shouldn't have babies. So what they are sucking, they are sucking just her boobs. So what these children have to do, you see, when they make an article, it's very funny. They defend in a very funny way. They don't have, they don't have the, the intelligence of conversation. Because that is a topic, and this is a topic. This is about a woman. She have a problem, and there is a man. He's a growing man, and now he is in her house, and she she is not giving birth. She don't have milk, and a rida min al mija. It's for someone who wanna eat, drink. But this guy, this is the, this this is not the purpose. And when they say it's not true, well, this is a verse in the Quran. What is not true? That is well. What you're saying is logic. 
Yeah, so they are mixing things up. You see? Okay, so here, I'm sorry, I, I pulled up another one, which sounds convenient to me. Hmm. Uh, so let's just read it and see if we agree on it. Okay. Basically, it says, Hal yajuz al kabir ghayr al muhram, which is, is it okay to breastfeed somebody that is an adult who is not a family? So it says, first, that's now, friend, are, again, again uh, Aziz, you can, you, can, you, can, you can you take your time. But this is about children, have nothing to do with our topic. They are still talking about feeding a child milk. That is not the topic. This is a uh, man. I understand. Yeah, I understand. they are mixing things up. There's no connection between this and this. You see, as I told you, you can read the whole article. You will see that the Muslims went so far trying to, to trying to defend Islam by, by fabricating stories have nothing to do with the story, this woman, she is a woman, and it's not a child who is in her house. It's a man, a growing man. And this man do yeah. not need to drink milk, do he? But this one is saying that he can drink the milk if he was first of all. For, first of all, first of all, first of all, go ahead. Rida is not a drinking. Rida is suckling. Rada, okay. rada. You can go to the dictionary. I understand. Which means he, okay. he, he holds it between his, his lips and he holds with it and he suck it. So, Rida cannot be by drinking from a, a, a cup of water. So, but if you drink from a water, from, from a milk of a woman and you are a child, according to Islam, this is considered equal to Rida. But this is not the scenario we are talking about. The Prophet, he did not say to the women, give him some milk in a cup and let him drink it. He said to her, suckle him. And suckling is about you putting your lips around the nipple of a woman and suckling. And this woman, she don't have milk anyway. So this is have nothing to do with all the article written in front of you. Okay, but it says if it was milked into a dish. But my friend, this woman, she don't have milk anyway. And what that will do anyway? <laughs> I mean, are, are we talking about a cow? No. This is a woman, uh, she don't uh, have a children. This is, a, this, no is, can, this is a woman, she, ha she is a growing, she, she don't have a baby, she don't have an infant to, to feed him milk. Women don't have always milk. And she is a growing old woman. So how she is going to feed, don't you see that this woman, she was surprised. She said to him, how I'm going to suckle him and he's a growing man. She didn't say how I'm going to feed him some milk. How I'm going to suckle him. But yet he is a growing man. So still we are talking about suckling. We are not talking about drinking milk and the women she have no milk anyway but because the muslims trying to avoid this and what we will do with the verses in the quran this is a verse the quran says breast feeding for adult what they are talking about is breastfeeding for a child this is have nothing to do with our topic in okay, front of you so in front of you in the hadith aziz does it say al kabir ashr does it say that yeah okay it's yeah. al kabir so why they are talking about al-sagir <laughs> they have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, yeah. And, and here it also says, "La tahrim bi al kabir." See, here we go. Jamhur al fuqaha. Thank you very much. Rida'u al mu'tabar ma kana fi al hawlain. Thank you. So now it's still so and, basic, and that will make it more rest. problem. Now we have big, bigger problem. Do you know what the problem now? What is the problem? They just admitted that if a man suckle a woman breast that will not make him uh, forbidden from her to have sex with her or to marry her correct no this is okay saying, so what the point so what the point then no this is saying there is no prohibition right from breastfeeding and an adult right so a man if he suckle a woman breast still he can have sex with her so what the point <laughs> what the no point? it's the, the thing is saying there's nothing that Prohibits. Yes, there's nothing for bread, which means which, okay. No, no, so, Aziz, let me explain example. to you. I don't know if you understand ahead, Arabic very well. What they are saying to you in Arabic there that if a man he suckled from a woman, still he can marry her. But if a child he suckled from a woman, 
he can marry he cannot marry her he cannot marry her daughter or if she is a girl she cannot marry her uh, her son or you know which means she became like a family so oh, this is i know where you're coming from yeah so for for example I, I actually have this situation see right now i am a brother hmm. of another guy who's not from my mother hmm. How, how you're gonna ask me well how is he your brother if he's I, not I know I know mother? what you're talking about you know I he know. is because I was breastfed by his mom yeah but do you think really by somebody drinking the milk of somebody he became a brother really well yes why why because scientifically uh -huh. the when you the milk of a mother mm -hmm. basically plants the love of that mother into you so if we drink me and you from the same cow, we became brothers. Well, no, not a cow. See, there's so? a difference between a cow. Why? Because God made the woman mm. milk different than the cow. Uh, mm. The the woman milk is something that I, God. I, I provided. can show you. I can show you a Muslim guy calling the scholar Rife in TV. Well, he was asking that he have a fiance, and they are getting. They are married already. Actually, you know, get picked up. You know. So they are married already, but they did not do intercourse yet. And they made a mistake and ate from the same ice cream. And now he feared that he cannot marry her. What do you think? Well, I think that guy is just having some problems or complicated. Okay, so mind. why you think it's logical? <laughs> Come on, Aziz. So what is the well, difference really? It's saying to me that okay. women she would love. So what does that mean? I mean, I well, am not your brother anyway. If we drink the same milk, that is very silly. So if, for example, let's just say, you and I were breastfed from the same woman. Yeah, and what that would do? Nothing. Okay. Nothing would do. Well, it's food. And I know. And she has mm. her daughters. And they also got breastfed at the same time mm. with us. Mm. When we grow up, we're going to grow up together. Mm. Aren't you going to feel like she's your sister? Okay, let me ask you. You, as a Muslim, you are allowed to marry your cousin, correct? uh not really who said that who said that that is as well as the way i was taught that is something that is not preferred to do so it's not is, is it based on islam or based on your family they told you it's not right uh, basically it's based on islam oh, okay so it's based on islam. so basically my 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 dad believes and my grandpa believes that hmm marrying from somebody that is not from yeah. the family yeah. is better because marrying from the family could cause problems yeah but what the quran says is the opposite the quran says it is lawful for you to marry the, it the, is the daughters lawful to marry your cousin not yes. your sister yeah not your this, brother this is what i asked you i said to you so you cannot marry from someone but just because she drank milk with you but you are marrying a cousin who have your blood already well the thing is like i said there's a difference between okay so how does love is planted into your heart as a baby mm. how is it planted what what that have to do with the milk well it's because it's from your mother what if i get take milk from uh, from a cow or a goat she is a mother too the mother, the, the, the goat is a mother. The goat, she don't have see, always milk. See, the thing is, you cannot compare a human to an animal. Why, why, why we cannot? Why we cannot? Why? Because God said that you, or you, God said that the humans are not the same as no, he said, animals. No, he said uh, that animals are community like you, and they have even Quran. Don't you know that? Hold on, hold on. No, I actually know this one, but I just don't know this uh, the ayah. I just want to find the ayah. The Quran says, Animals are Muslims like you and they are community. So what the difference between drinking the goat milk and drinking a woman goat milk? And same time, we are going far away from our topic. How that if the man drink the, the women milk even if there is milk you just said that she is not forbidden for him still so what the point well like i said the point is if if you don't agree with me on this let's not let's not take it religiously 
and I hope you don't get offended. I would think that somebody is ridiculous when they're going to marry somebody that they were breastfed from the same mother. Okay, I'm asking you now about your okay. prophet. He ordered the women who have no milk anyway to give her breast to a man. And you are the one who did read for me that it says there, this man is still lawful for her. So what the point? So what the point? What, what the, we did now? Thing, what we did by is, making this woman giving her breast to that man? What is the accomplishment? Yes, it's in there. Go ahead. That guy never came for his phone. No, no, he never did. Here. Uh, this the thing that we were talking about was breastfeeding an adult, correct? Mm -hmm. So basically, when you're gonna be breastfed. You're a family, but you just said he's allowed still to have sex with her if she is if he is a grown man. That the forbidden only is for children. This is what you said. What it says in front yes. of you in the page. Okay, so what the point of having a woman giving her well, breast to a, to a man? Well, that that child before he become an adult. This is not a child now. Already, well, As he is. he was a child, correct? But now he's a man. We're talking about a man. Yes, we're not talking about breastfeeding for a child. We're talking about the yes. breastfeeding for adult. He is a man. Yes. So what we will do if a woman she give her breast to this man? What happened? Well, you you do agree on me with when when I said that it gets the love gets planted when you are a child, not when you are an adult. Okay. So let us say no, that's fine. No problem. What about the man now? Our problem is the man. Well, the man was a child, and the planted was the love was already planted in him when he was a child. But the man he did not suck the women when he was a child. She, he's asking her now. And then this man now is a growing man to give her boobs to him. He's not a child no more. He's a man. That, it's in front of you. Correct. The hadith. Okay, so what the point of giving a man the boobs of a woman? She don't even have milk, and she is a growing woman, and he is a growing man. Do you think really a man he suck the woman breast, he will behave? He will behave. Yeah. Do you think it's right for a woman to give her breast to a stranger? Do you think a woman she will not get Excited and the man will not get excited. What the point of this? This is this is this is a perverted behavior. What do so, you say, uh, Aziz? Um, I don't want to. Uh, don't take anything I say to you personal, please. I respect you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Imagine me. Let us say about me. I don't want to make it about you, so don't get offended. Imagine no, I'm a Muslim. Okay. I opened yeah. the door of my house and I found a man in the couch with my wife, and he is suckling her her, her nipples. I said, "What are you doing?" She said to me, "My honey, the Prophet said." If a man he will enter the house and this is the cable guy, I cannot let him enter without sucking my breast. Well, the thing is that man is not going to enter the house without a man in the house. Well, he is already in the house, as you see. This man, he is in the house. He lived there. <laughs> well, that guy grew up in that house. Since my my no friend kid. doesn't matter. The husband is unhappy for seeing a stranger in his house. Still, he is not her son. If you have a slave, doesn't mean he can. He's not a man. He is her slave. He is not her son. He is not her brother. He is just a stranger. He, so, he'll be back. Sorry. Yeah, he is just a stranger anyway. So what the point? What what Muhammad accomplished by making this man? Or this is this is an order for all Muslim women. And uh, this is a verse in the Quran too, that she have to do it ten times. What is the point if he still can have sex with her? You are the one who said to me, still just Apple. <laughs> no, I'm, oh, no. I'm sorry, sir. It's okay, Aziz. It's okay, Aziz. Uh, this guy is busy anyway, guys. Uh, he's a nice guy, but obviously, he's trying to defend uh, this madness, but you cannot defend that. Thank you, Aziz, for calling. Uh, anyway, guys. So today we cover something very important about Islam, but we don't really cover everything. 
the most important thing about Islam that this religion have no ethic no ethic and it's a stupid what kind of a prophet he order me or order my wife to give her boobs to a stranger and what kind of a religion practice such a practice it doesn't make sense and the funny that mr. Aziz he said he is the person who go by logic but I am sure now he is like what the heck is this <laughs> uh, I mean what the heck of this is this is a religion the 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 ethical the ethic of Islam is bad in any way any place you go what about the Prophet ordering the man that he can beat his wife since when beating women will fix relationship since when beating women will make a family better since when man he should beat his wife because he's a man what is the ethic it is the opposite a man should not harm a woman for if he does he's a coward do we agree guys a real man he practice his muscles on a woman he is a coward he's a potato so what kind of religion the ethic of it I can beat women I have the right to jail them I have the right to shout at them I have the right even to force them to give their boobs to a stranger This is God and this is a religion. A rejalu kawa muna ala nisa ibi ma fadal allahu ba'dahum ala ba'd. Allah, He favor men a poor women. Why? Why? Because they spend their money on them. What the heck? Men are the protectors and maintainers of women because Allah has given one more other strength. What does that mean? If you have more strength, he is the protector and the maintainer. Hmm. What if the woman she have more strength? If the strength is the reason, there is many men, they can't even fight a woman. And I'm very serious about that. There's women, they can beat three men in the same time. Who told you that all men are stronger than women? No, it's not the same said in the Bible. The Bible speak about the man he have a duty, not the man he can beat his wife. The man have a duty to provide to his family. Not he have a duty to beat his wife. The head of the house in the Bible is the man. Yes, but the head of the house too in the in the in the, the women in the in the in the in the Bible, she is the queen of the house. The Bible describe the head of the house is the church and Jesus. Jesus is the same as the husband and the church is the same as the wife. So the same as Jesus, he gave himself to the church. The man should give himself to the wife. Which means absolute love and giving with no return. You don't wait for return. You don't beat the church. Jesus, Jesus did not beat the church. He did not humiliate the church. He gave himself for the church. Yeah, when you read it from Timothy, you read exactly a, a, a verse. In order to understand the Bible, my friend, you read the whole chapter and you will see that you are wrong. We just said that, that in the Bible it teach that the man is the head of the house. And the head of the house is the same as Jesus who gave himself to the church, which means the Bible made the women equal to the church. And there is no Christian, he will humiliate the church. A Christian, he should defend, protect, provide, 
and give himself the same as Jesus he gave himself to the church this is what the Bible teach what people do they take a verse and they cut it out and they say okay the Bible says that We are talking about a person or God who speak of beating women, disrespecting them, jailing them. And Jesus never taught such a thing. Jesus taught us, even in the Old Testament, that when the man and the woman, they get married, they become one, not two. So how we are one, but yet we are insulting each other. How we are one, but we are not respecting each other. Show me where in the Bible, Mr. Animos, Jesus, Jesus, he told the man that the woman, she should be beaten as an example, or the wife, she should be treated like garbage. Can you show me that? The Bible teach that the man is the head of the house, yes, but the head of the house is the same as Jesus, the head of the church. This is what the Bible says. So you don't take a phrase and you say, this is what the Bible teaching, you teach you give me the teaching of the Bible, not a teaching of two words. So the Quran and the religion of Islam is suffering badly from ethic. What about jailing them? You see the Muslim in their translation, they put falsely the word first. But you see here the word first, what first? There's no first and there's no next. The man he can punish his wife by not having sex with her but the woman she cannot do the same can the muslim women do the same can the muslim man do the same or the muslim women sorry no he cannot as simple as that and you see, like when, when somebody guy, this person in the text, he posts for you a verse, but he will not post what the chapter is saying. Because this is how people, they play games. I still, I am challenging him. He keeps saying to me that the Bible says the man is the head of the woman. So we said that already. And we gave you what the Bible says. The man is the head of the house, not the head of the woman, which means he's the head of the family. That's what the Bible teach. However, However, the same as Jesus is the head of the church and he gave himself to the church. This is how the man, he gave himself to his wife. So the man is the head of the house. That does not mean the woman is the tail of the house. The man is a head for something he will sacrifice himself for not destroy and there's a huge difference hello hello sir hey how my you? friend how are you doing you okay um well, fine you're fine yeah that's good that's good to hear it was a nice chat with um with the other fellow that you were speaking earlier yeah the one who was working i think you know at least i think he was uh, trying to be honest and like some people um the question i wanted to ask um basically let's pretend that i am a muslima and i simply just don't want i want to divorce my husband and don't have proof of him cheating or anything what are the reasons that a Muslim woman can divorce her husband and how does she need to go through it? Because we know with a, with a Muslim guy, with a man, he can say, uh, is it triple talaq or whatever it's called? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, the, the woman in Islam, she can ask for divorce, uh, but it's up still to her husband to do so or not. And in the same time, this is called al-khula, which means she is the one who is trying to get out. And based on al-khula, 
she deserved no dowry and deserved no money from the husband <laughs> so she will lose everything she can ask for divorce and if he agree if he agree, the children as well if he agrees she will lose everything she cannot she cannot take with her anything even her clothes which he gave her she have to leave it at home anything he gave her before she have to leave for she is the one is leaving however if the man decide to do so which mean not based on her request then he have to pay her what he promised in the contract of nukah which is the contract of sex so mm. because her because he, the, he is the employer and he is the one who finished the contract and now it's time for her to get her let us say wages mm -hmm. okay but if she decide to leave she have no right for wages okay yeah she can uh, but and then but, if, even even though if she asks for can, divorce well, still, she can still, leave sorry sorry yeah. she can leave for any reasons she wants right she can if he approve it anyway at the end of the day he have to approve he have to agree oh he has to agree oh yeah, yeah. No, she, just say the no, husband no 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 if, if you don't the want husband is nasty and yeah. he doesn't want to agree today the in the woman uh, today they the have woman a, doesn't have the Proof to prove anything, it really just doesn't like this man. She cannot. How can she divorce him? She cannot. She cannot. She cannot. But in uh, in modern court, in some Islamic countries, like uh, I heard back in Egypt now, they made a new law where the woman she can ask for divorce because the violence is increasing, you know, and uh, women they are committing suicide or stuff like this. So they come with a solution saying that women she can ask, but uh, uh, even if he, the husband did not agree. If she can prove that he is uh, beating her like uh, to, to almost to death, like you know, uh, she not a take, normal beat. Yeah, she she been taken to hospital and she have a report that almost she died, or he is doing like torture, like burning her skin by uh, uh, some crazy men. You know, they they uh, uh, they hit some metal and they touch her or a knife, uh, or they have a sexual uh, madness fantasy where they hurt the women during that. So if she can prove such a thing, uh, she can get a divorce. But normally, if the divorce is just because she don't want him no more, uh, she have to give up all her rights, and he have to agree, then she can get her divorce. Hmm. Yeah. No, I've 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 watched I watched something. It was like on the TV. They were trying to show the woman went and asked for divorce, and then the Sharia well Sharia court um basically said you know try it and see let's try it again see if things and then come back to us and so forth so it was more of <laughs> try and see first and come back so i was thinking what what are actually the rights of of a divorce um for a woman because i mean one of the arguments that muslims try and use is is that we as a christians we shouldn't divorce and then they say oh what if the woman wants a divorce the husband is, is abusive and all of this you know we in islam we let the woman divorce and so forth you know so i wanted no, no. to a woman a woman she cannot be seen in, in be islam the there's no marriage in christianity marriage is real in islam there's a sex contract and this sex contract can be finished even by text message you can go right now and search you will find that it's allowed in many islamic countries no, because of the phone it was it was it was in um in there's a national it was in a national radio Right. And um, there is, um, you know, Majid Nawaz, you know him. I think you made the video about him. Right. Yeah. Basically, when he, he talks, he talks about usually about Islam and he tends to be like the liberal and so forth. You know, I think he's left Islam, to be honest. Uh, but he he uses Islam to make a name for himself because he's got uh, he ends up having a place in the radio station. So people cannot say you're being Islamophobic because he says, well, I'm a Muslim. So uh, the, he was talking about the triple talat. Is it talat? Yes, talat. Yeah. Trip, yeah, yeah. He was talking about the triple talat, how it's happening. And so many women were calling in. This is in UK, you know, mm -hmm. so many women were calling. And one, this woman was saying, basically, the husband divorced her. But then they wanted to get back together, so she had to go and have sex with another man in a hotel in order to get back to him yeah. to make it married to make the marriage. You know, the, the, this was in the, on 
live on the radio i actually couldn't believe i was hearing that you know yeah, this is in the uh, bar anyway. you know this is in uk this is in uk live on the radio show not one woman there were so <laughs> many women that were calling saying this is a big big problem because uh then these people cannot get back together you know yeah. and they they really regret what has happened you know they want to go back and they couldn't get back that sort of thing you know so yeah um I'm, i believe everything you're saying because i mean these people were phoning in even we're talking in western world we're not talking in i don't know in well this is what the quran of... says the quran says if a man divorces his wife three times she cannot get back to him enter she if a new guy and then that guy he divorced her and then she can go back to her husband well it's it a long, says yeah it does it doesn't say just f i think it says taste the juice you know yes uh, you know yeah, the, the, hadith, the hadith the hadith says it tastes her juice and she tastes his juice but the quran used the word tanka which means to f so if a woman does it yeah the quran used the word tanka 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 the, the f word yeah the f word uh, the hadith says the prophets he said that if a woman she got divorced three times she can't get back and unless she tastes his juice and he tastes her juice so, so the Quran really uses that word. What do, do Muslims admit to that word, or do they say it means it has a different meaning? If you remember, we have a guy who called us. His name is Nightmare, and he gave us. He, <laughs> yeah, he, 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 I cannot he, forget him. Yeah, he gave us a website, and uh, we went there, and we found that uh, taste asila to the word asila is the orgasm. He tried to deny first. He said this is not about his juice, and he said his sweet uh, her uh, his sweetness. His sweetness. <laughs> so we went to the dictionary and we looked for the word asila. And we found that it says that asila it mean until he tastes her or her orgasm and she tastes his orgasm yeah <laughs> uh, yeah um, so it is for the man to accept the divorce and if the man doesn't accept the divorce then basically you know let me tell you what what some men do they do the, uh, because the woman she is allowed to ask for divorce, but then she will lose all her money. So what some men do, like let's say he want to get rid of this woman, what he would do, he would be so harsh on her, beat her every day, humiliate her, and then he says, if you want, he keeps saying to her, well, if you want, ask for divorce, ask for divorce, because he want her to ask, so she would go out with nothing. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. Because if, he, if and, she and, asks, and if she goes, and if she goes, because you know, even in UK, we got we do have Sharia courts. Mm. You know, not necessarily a massive court is, you know, one of these small places where the Muslims go and do their own private dealings, you know? Yeah, yeah. So so there are Sharia courts in, in UK. So what happens is that they go and do these divorces with between themselves. Right. And a lot of them fall into that because they'll say, look, if you're going to go to a main court, you're going to get shamed by the community because, of, you know, sometimes they live in, in, in a group of, say, a Muslim area more or less you know they always live sort of in groups mm -hmm. so you don't so there will be a big community for that person there if she goes through another court and tries to do it a dodgy way you know so they're under pressure to go through that court yeah but, well anyway yeah, I, I mean the, 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 but i mean whatever they do there uh we are talking about islam in general it doesn't matter which country uh, mm -hmm. if a man he want to get rid of the woman all what he need to do to make her go without anything he promised her even to pay even the gift he gave her he just humiliate her and then he give her the choice if you want just ask for divorce he would not divorce her himself because then if he divorce her without her request he have to pay her so this is even the solution is not for the benefit of the woman it's for the benefit of the man because it's still why why okay if she asks for a divorce she have to lose everything why you know so this is not uh, was not done for the sake of the woman it was done for the sake of the man it is a solution for him to give her nothing so she did marry him she did live with him for many years let us say a woman she married a man for 20 30 years and now he start beating the hell of her because he want to make her ask for divorce so she, he will pay her nothing and the money he will save from her he can go and get a brand new girl who is maybe 12 years old or even nine or even six you know so this this is not a solution for the women that the women she can ask for divorce because it is not an equal right anyway
She don't get so it is it is completely like an employment contract. You know, you have redundancies, right? If where you, you have to if, pay the employer for the service that they've done. If you quit, so let's say I don't know what you call it in US, but in UK we call it redundancies. Mm -hmm. So if you work, say, for a company for ten years, and they no longer need you because they haven't got that that role anymore. Yeah. You know, you're you're the driver now. They don't need any driver anymore because they're no longer doing deliveries. So they don't have any other role. What they do is they make you redundant. That's what we call it in UK, mm. which means then they pay you for a couple of years that you've done the service. Right. You know, I think you don't just they, get sacked. Yeah. They pay Whereas you, if you uh, if you want to leave, you don't get any bonuses. Right. You just don't get paid. <laughs> right. This is exactly what it is. So if you if you if you, if they are the one who's kicking you, they give you like some some countries they give you uh, one month salary for every year. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah in UK they do that. One yeah. month is so, one month or one week or something like that. Yeah, one month uh, salary for every year. So let's say if you work for twenty years, then we give you salaries of tw uh, yeah, twenty yeah. Uh, years yeah. and, a month. And in UK, in UK, if you are over fifty-five years, and somebody does you know makes you redundant they have to pay you all the pension up to the age of a pension age which could be 67 65 67 yeah well so, the, the poor Muslim yeah. woman she will lose everything and she will be and, and even you know I, I i know a story of a guy this is a long time when i was i was a like a very young in a teenage uh there's a guy he's a bedouin and uh he did not show up to the school etc you know we mm. walked and talked together. We are, you know, uh, he's, he's in our classroom. So I told him, "Hey, Muhammad, what happened? Where you been, man?" He said, "Man, it's a long story. My my dad he divorced my mother, you know, and his mother is an old woman now. Uh, and uh, he is, uh, he said we were looking for her for a place to live to stay. And uh, the dowry he paid her is not enough to buy a TV. So what happened? This woman, she did marry him. Let us say thirty years ago." And let us say at that time he promised her uh, three hundred dollars, but at that time three hundred dollars can buy a big farm. If he divorce her, the contract they write down that if I divorce you, you know, let, let's say uh, you know, like uh, let's use the currency of Iraq. Before they, they they do have to disclose all their income and everything and do like a proper contract because I think no, not some of your not, listeners not, not your, your listeners don't don't no not income. you know this this whole contract about the money that is yeah, there. I think. Yeah, this is not income. He, you know, he make a he, he sign a contract saying, I will pay you a down payment, etc., for now. And then, if I divorce you, you will receive a final payment of etc. And this is and the, this has to be done in a proper Muslim wedding, yes, and before the marriage. Before the marriage, so there has to be there has to be a buy contract and yes. exit contract. Yes, the exit contract is the most important for the Muslim women. That's why they ask now, in order to for to like. Uh, to make it very hard for the Muslim man to, to get rid of them when they get old, they ask for a very high number as a protection. So if you divorce me, okay, I want five hundred thousand dollars. Now, if this guy he signs such a thing, he's in trouble. But what he will do, as I told you, I told you, there's a solution. Okay, if I, if if I divorce you, you will get five hundred thousand. But what if I make you divorce me? You get nothing. <laughs> so he beat her every day. He him you read her every day. He can spit at her. He can do whatever he want every day. What she can do about it? In, in Islamic in, in Islamic countries, most of them, if the man he don't leave marks in the body to the point is breaking bones, or uh, even if he have marks like a blue in the skin, it's okay. But if the marks is is the kind will cause like a permanent damage, which is going to be for maybe many months, or he broke his bones, then she can ask for divorce and get her money. But if just normal beating, he's fine. The Quran says you can beat them. If he's well, spitting at her, slapping, beating her, slapping, it's sla enough, slapping you know, her, little, yeah, yeah. Even little slaps is enough. Right. You, they don't have to, to, you don't have to break some, somebody to break your bones. You know, right. when somebody keeps slapping you, even that is enough. And you don't have to leave marks. You imagine, know, even these little slaps. Imagine you spit at her every day from the morning mm -hmm. at the night. I mean, well, she will leave everybody. She will leave. She want to go. It's, it's like it's going to be her her life like hell. She will be like a dog in the house. You know, he can he can humiliate her and he have full control. You see, in the Middle East and Islamic countries, if a woman, she leave the door of the house without permission of the husband, he can call literally the police for her 
and she will become wanted officially the police will announce her name <coughs> as a winter the criminal so if the police found her in any airport any train station any bus anywhere she will be arrested immediately and she will be taken for her husband <laughs> So, so it's like an like an app, like the iPhone. Find uh, find my key, find my wife, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Find find her and bring her here. This is the call it. <laughs> this is the, in Islam they call it Beitul Ta, the house of obedience. So the man, uh, let us say you came back home and you find that your wife. She have a letter says I am I'm gone. Bye bye. What you do as a Muslim man, you call the police. And you give them their her name. You say I am the husband of etc. And this, my wife, she ran away. The police legally, legally, they will announce her name as a wanted woman for all over the country. And even if she found in other country, like let's say a, a woman, she ran away to Pakistan, but the guy is from Saudi Arabia, he can chase her. The Saudi government, they will call the Pakistani government. If they receive information that the woman is there and the Pakistani government they will arrest the women because they both they share the same law mm -hmm. and then they will ship her as an as an as a criminal to the Saudi and then the Saudi they will deliver her back to her husband and her husband he have the right upon her arrival to teach her how to behave which means he beat her hmm. yeah and That's she will crazy. be and she will be humiliated by the society uh like you know she will be treated like a whore you know she's a woman who run away you know yeah i mean so i mean it's very sad for you know as, as much as you laugh at these crazy laws it's very sad to what really happens to some of these women and what they have to go through and what they face you know yeah when 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 you see a woman who's covered and all of this a lot of them don't want to be that way, and they're just being forced. Well, you, you know, know uh, there, uh, there, there may be some who think yes, they do it because they they feel close to Allah and all this, but a lot of them, they do have a lot of problems. So it's it's a very you know, sad you know, thing. You know, you uh, know, uh, I used to have a landline in in my in my place in USA, uh, but my landline was dead. I mean, nobody called me. You know, I mm. like I have. Uh, Few people know me, and but when I was in the Middle East, if you have a phone line and you are single, your phone will never sleep. I'm talking about the old days when there's no smartphone yet, etc. It's only landline. And people, then people ring a people ring a what's called a, a lucky number. Just ring a number. They and call. They off. call if the guy is a if the, mostly either if. Uh, a male is calling to find a female or female calling mm -hmm. to find it so whoever like who is your luck so you call oh, so and you are a girl and the guy who answered there they did exactly that on my country yeah um, you even now i think they're still doing it but they did that uh, a few years ago it was very big people just calling randomly you know and yeah. just and she, basically she, open, and she open whispers open she says uh, i cannot speak loud because my husband is here oh okay no. <laughs> so because the house is like a jail so those women they try to find any exit they are jail at home like now i don't want to be rude and show you show you what they do in their houses like go now to any app uh, any website go and see in youtube type the word mahlaya and you will find what muslim women do inside their houses it's crazy uh, and internet now gave them a very huge door and now like you see a lot of change happening in islamic countries islamic countries are not the same as before anymore you know, uh, they are seeking women, they are seeking freedom, which is extreme. It's not normal no more. B because, you know, when you bet a person in jail for a long time, and then suddenly you open the door. He, you lose cred credibility as a man. Yeah, he don't, he don't, act, he, yeah. he don't act. So, so the man, the man have lost credibility. I, I don't know if you ever have a dog. If, if you have a dog and you never let him go out. And then suddenly I, you open I met, the door. I, I've, I've used, I've, I've kept somebody's dog before, yeah. so I, I know. Open the door, he will go crazy. He will run like crazy. Yeah. He, he's, he's not even maintaining his feet. Like his feet is going like, you know, because he is so excited. Finally, he's out. To be out. This is exactly what, what happened to those people. So when they go abroad, when they get their chance to do things, they do it in an extreme way.
If you go, yeah, they go crazy. Yeah, they they, you, they will jump on the man and I, I know, I know. Men and, and women, there's a matter of even the man, even the Muslim man, when he go abroad, if he is not used to go abroad, he don't act normally. Like uh, uh, if you go in the month of Ramadan, uh, in uh, uh, like in any country in Asia, like example in Philippines, I was there, and you will see in the month of Ramadan how all the restaurants are busy, but the Muslims are not in the restaurants. The Muslims are in the bars. Any bar have a restaurant bar, whereas you can find prostitution. Like, you know, I remember there's like a, a square and there's like a coffee shop, there's restaurants, and there is the bar who have a, it's like a restaurant bar. There's a restaurant and bar in the same time, whereas a lot of prostitutes, they come to hunt for foreigners. You will find 90% of those who they are outside and inside in this bar are Muslims, and most of them they are coming from Saudi Arabia. You see, the more freedom people have, the more they do those stupid things. As an oh, example, it's, it's more dangerous. Um, let, let me tell you, I mean, I, I come from a communist country. So people were in a communist like, like North Korea now. Hmm. Um, basically, you don't, you know, when we, when, when we first got like a remote control to turn on a TV, which was probably casual here. Yeah, people didn't believe it. People used to it say, a, "What? It was you a big deal. You can't turn. How can you turn on the TV from sitting down? You know, yeah. that sort of thing." Uh, but then, because of that, as soon as the freedom opened, it 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 sort of contaminated people. The people went crazy. People started doing all sorts of things, you know, because they haven't been teached from a young age to do that. You know, they haven't been teached finally, in a certain way. Finally, they have a you know? freedom. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like you 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 go crazy, do drugs, do drinking, do all of this, you know. Whereas somebody else has been raised to know the difference between wrong and right, even though he has opportunity to do it all his life, but he doesn't do it. So I've I've I've, I've experienced that sort of thing. So I've 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 seen that sort of thing. I know what it is. So I I fully understand what you're saying because these women, especially a lot of them, if they beat been beaten or. or I mean, I've I've met women like that, you know, like Turkish. That it's sort of it's thing. very normal, by the way, it to happen to everybody. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. But Islam is a religion because it it it, it doesn't it doesn't give a solution. Islam create a problem. Uh, I made a video. I, I'm sure you you know about it, where uh, a Muslim TV station speaking about uh, that uh, a certain percentage of uh, people in uh, in uh, in the city of Jeddah uh, they are having a homosexuality family. Uh, family member having sex with family member, which means everything is wrong. But what is the reason? The reason is Islam, because Islam make you not to live a normal life. When you don't have a normal life, you don't act normally at the end of the day. You start acting like an animal. This is why they have a very high number of uh, percentage of sex, uh, homosexuality in Islamic countries, because the male is allowed to be with male, and the female is allowed to be with the female. So a woman, let us say a young teenage girl, they they go like Bachi Bazin in, in yeah, Afghanistan, right? So like no, not just a normal thing. Like you know, let's say uh, somebody have a daughter. She is sixteen years old, and she is not allowed to go with boys. She cannot see boys. She cannot have a normal life. See now normal people. So what she can do? Oh my dad, my cousin, she's coming over. She want to sleep over. Is that okay? Oh, she is a cousin. She is a female. She is a female. They can sleep together in the same bed. But those are girls, who they are not allowed to see men. And that will start what is called lesbian. Mm, mm. And the same for boys. A boy, he is allowed to invite a boy who is his cousin or his friend to sleep over. No problem. No problem. He can sleep over his house. You can, he can sleep over your house. Both they sleep in the same bed and they are not allowed to have a normal relationship, even to speak with women. So what they do? They became gays. So this is why homosexuality in Islamic countries is extremely high. You know, because... They don't have a normal life. Well, you don't have and normal and life. And if you go and ask them, they don't, they don't even think they're gay. They just say, they just see it as a normal thing to do. You know? Yeah, yeah, no, no. They are, they are, they are not gays. For them, they are not gays. This is yeah, like, yeah. it's fun. Yeah, yeah, you know, they, just, yeah, you know, just yeah for them fun, it's just you know? fun. Because yeah. I was watching a, a Turkish, well, it was a Turkish show showing it. It, it was done in UK by BBC, hmm. but it was showing in Turkey. You know where the where the men were going to sleep with uh, what do you call them tranny? Mm, they they having sex with men hmm. who are dressed like women and uh, you know uh, but, but sex yeah, yeah. 
you know, that sort of thing. And they were saying, no, I'm not, I am straight, I'm not gay, you know. So what is doing there? <laughs> but but does, the woman asked him, you know, but he does you, right? Yes, yes, but no, no, I do, I do him, I do him. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's, it's very funny, actually, it's really funny, because he says, no, no, I, he, they don't do me, I do them, so I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, supposedly, if he is doing them, he is not gay, supposedly. Yeah, like, he's, <laughs> yes. he, like, he is the hero now. <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> it, and they're laughing with, with their, you know, you know, they, with his friends, so it's not like hiding or hidden, they just young guys. And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely no shame about it. So it's just really funny. Welcome, um, welcome to us. Oh, right, that's that's what I wanted to ask, really. It's right, just okay. um, just to clarify the whole divorce thing. By the way, I made what? a video yesterday. I don't know if you downloaded it. Did you? I, I don't think I've been able to download it it's yesterday. A, it's a, it's a good I've been video. I've been busy lately. I have my reasons. I don't want to. You have four wives you know. now. Be honest. Four wives. Uh -huh. You have four wives or what? Oh, it's um, okay. You don't need to tell me. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> I can't talk because two of my wives are here. So. Oh, okay. I will, I will, they, I will they, not tell they, they, they will get the kitchen knives, you know. Oh, boy. In UK, <laughs> you know, it's dangerous. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> and one of them wants to divorce me because I uh, listen too much to Christian Prince. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care, my friend. Thank All right. You. Take care. Thank, Thank you for coming. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. All right. Um, today we cover some of the bad ethic of Islam and why Allah cannot be God. Everything we mentioned there is a clear proof that Islam does not bring a solution. Islam has a problem. It's a problem for the family, problem for society. Islam not only don't have ethic, it teaches something ugly, disgusting, stupid. Like women, she can give her breast to a stranger. The man, he can beat his wife. The man, he can, if he divorces his wife, she had to sleep with someone else to get back. Islam create problems, don't give solution. The funny Muslim, they say to us, Islam is a solution. Islam is the problem. This is why you will not find a happy family in Islamic countries. Because family is based in a value of a man and a woman, not a value of a man and a bunch of women. Not in a value of a man and three sum. Not in a value of a, of a, of a, of a group sex. Not in a value where the son he do not know who is his brother. Not in a house where the man is allowed to lie to his wife. As we heard the Muslims when he called us, he said, yeah, you can lie to your wife, so what? And the wife, she can lie to the husband. The ethic is one of the biggest problems. And now we are just talking about general ethic in Islam. We did not talk about the, general, the ethic of Muhammad, which is very filthy. From forcing his son to give his wife to him to having sex with the children like Aisha and that that affect the Islamic society because now Muslims they have no limit of how young the girl she can be yet she is a sexual target so we cannot consider Islam as an ethical religion regardless if it is a false or not it's far from ethic you see for me if you are a Hindu you believe in the wrong belief if you are a Buddha, you believe in the wrong belief, etc. But I cannot compare anyone to the madness of Muhammad. Where women, she became a sex toy. A children's became sex toy. Even the, the, the promise of God in heaven even his heaven is not ethical. Have you ever heard of heaven? Have nothing there but a bunch of naked people having sex non-stop. Even heaven became dirty. When a prophet, he promised his followers that he will have an orgasm of 70 years. Did we ask ourselves, where is the ethic? What 70 years mean? Having sex with who? The Muslim will say to you with his wife, but he don't know his wife. Those are women are made for sex. This is not a wife. This is a sex toy. What is the ethic of wife? The ethic of having a wife and husband. You see the Muslim, the funny about them, they say to you, we believe in the story of Adam and Eve. Okay, so why God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Eve's? 
why in the case of Islam only Adam and Eve became Adam and Eve's and what one man need of 80,000 women and 80,000 little boys and the Muslim they say 80,000 little boys to serve us what is is the ethic of this God to force children for eternity to serve me if it is really just servant which is not, I don't believe because the Quran says those boys will never bleed bleed from what the Muslim they will say to you oh bleed here is about they will not get drunk they are my servant and they are boys and they get drunk I thought they are servant they would drink with me obviously I'm sleeping with them what is the ethic of forcing children to be my ser servant slaves forever for eternity so slavery in earth slavery in heaven and that is Islam And even the Quran promise that those women in heaven they will be restrained in their tents so they can't even see outside yes they are in heaven but they are in the tent why because they are made for sex this is their job is to be in the bed not to be outside that's your job Allah he made the women in the heaven for sex and those women according to Muhammad they are the kind because Muhammad and the Arab they are obsessed with the white color so he promised them that those women you can uh, you, you can see the marrow of their bones which means they are very white to the point you can see through as you see in the front of your eyes even the ethic of a beauty is not there because this is a racist promise to the point he is favoring the white women and this woman she is extremely white to the point we can see through her bones what is the ethic of that and the, why this woman she looked like a jellyfish because Muhammad is given an extreme false promise that okay you are an Arab and you like white women guess what those women are so white to the point you can see through their marrow the marrow of their bones what kind of God and what kind of ethic he provide with such a promise and not to forget to mention how ugly it is to have a woman you can see her as if you are an x-ray machine because this is exactly what he's saying you can see through the marrows of her bones this is a stupid promise stupid mentality and a madness just to give you an idea what that x-ray women look like let me show you but please don't get excited by seeing the heavenly women of Allah at least for the men look at this this is what Allah promised us in the heaven this is how he described those women we are going to see through their bones imagine this is God promise this is the heavenly God this is the almighty God this is a woman I'm going to sleep with and this is supposed to be the most beautiful woman I can see through the marrows of her bones and as you see Muslims we're not making things up this is what your prophet said every one of you will have two wives of the Hori and the rest from different by the way there's many numbers because the Muslims have many ranks because some people they might say you said 80,000 somebody says 72 somebody said 70 Muslims they have ranks which mean depend in how good you are if you are a person who joined Al-Qaeda you get more if you are a person never killed any Christian or Jew you do get less so this is the the lowest one and those women you are going to, they are going to be those wives the Huris will be so beautiful pure and transparent that the marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh so when we show you this picture here we are not making fun this is exactly how it looked like 
this is how your prophet you know what he promised you and i, I i'm going to take off this picture because i i can tell that some men are misbehaving here they are getting so excited they can they could not resist the temptation of this scene i mean this is so much who can resist that we have to be honest as men i mean this is amazing so beautiful Whew. man this is so hot you have a wife she is a jellyfish at least now i can see the poopoo inside her and if she ate my uh, hamburger i can know who is the one who ate my hamburger where's my money is going if she hides some money between in her bra i can see through i mean and muslims how you can see through i mean what does that mean what kind of bones she have what kind of a flesh she have i mean this guy is is, is madly uh, uh, obsessed with with the, uh, I don't know what to say. Anyway, guys, uh, if you notice here with me, this woman, I don't know if you can see what I see. This woman, she is wearing high heels. All right, but look, look what happened here. She have something here. I'm just studying my one of my future wives. You see here, I'm not sure if this is a bracelet or something, mm, something fishy. But you know, this is the good thing about having a, a woman you can see through. Look here, she has something. I don't know what is that. Let me zoom in. Here, what is that? This is her kidney. She, my wife, she have a kidney. I never thought she have a kidney. Hmm, interesting. It's the first time I see a woman she have something like this because I thought according to the Quran women they have testicles here because this is where the sperm is coming according to the Quran anyway anyway let's change the topic uh, enough is enough and Islam is wonderful and you guys are so jealous from the wisdom and the wise amazing prophet his name is Muhammad the one who made a promise nobody ever before him promised except the Persian except many other religions who they have madness about women he took the word holies from them and he started exaggerating with his fictions fictions is good all of us would like fictions why not you know and I hope the Muslims will make a video for us or movies about those women who they are see-through and then we watch the movie and then we say we don't see any women in the movie they say what we don't see any women in the movie they see only men they will say to you, are you stupid or what? Don't you know that you see through? Ah, because we see through, we could not see them. Uh -huh. Alhamdulillah. Now we got it. All right. Well, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. We have enough for today. I will try to open tomorrow, but I don't promise. But we will be mostly around 4.30. Don't forget, please, guys, to, to watch the video I made yesterday and download it. It's very important. Share the video with your friends. Doesn't have many of you. Sometime I'm doing like very early broadcast, like even 2 a.m. in the morning. All right. So like I finish what I do, I'm working in my books, etc. And then I say, okay, let me make a video to answer some Abdul. So watch the video previously is gone. Always check before to see if there is something new and share it with your friends. So thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you again. As always, let us remember one thing, that here we are challenging the cult of Islam. We are not just debating, because Muslims don't debate really. We challenge them and always Muslims, they fail. Muslims are copy-paste. Nobody even understands what he is saying. They accuse you with what they have. They accuse you of lying, but they are the one who teach lies. They accuse you of hate, but the, their book, all of it is about hate. They accuse you of violence, but their prophet is the most aggressive killer, criminal. They accuse you of fornication, but their prophet is the biggest fornicator. They accuse you of being pedophile, but their prophet is a pedophile. They accuse you of slavery, but their prophet is the one who owns slaves, bought slaves, 
capture slaves everything they accuse you with they are the first to have it and mostly you don't even know what they are talking about which means you don't have what they are saying you have so they try to throw at you what they have in order to blind you and you will not be able to see what they have or not they will not give you a chance to ask them about the the the, the madness of their religion so a Muslim guy, he'll call you, he says, do you know what the American did? Do you know the white man, he used to own black slaves? Your prophet owned black slaves. And who said to you that the, mad, the white man was right by doing that? But we have a prophet of God who claimed to be, he is from God, and he owned a slave. He is, I can name for you many of them. The most famous one is Bilal. Muhammad, he died, and Bilal is still a slave. Muhammad never freed him. This religion is the kind where, in order not to answer you, I will ask you. This is their strategy. I will ask you before you finish your question, or let's say before you finish your uh, answering my question, I will ask you a second question, so you will not have time to ask me. This is how Muslims try to avoid Islam being exposed, but it doesn't work with us. That's why we invite you all to invite your friends always join us and be part of this uh, conversation and feel free anytime you'd like to call me everybody is welcome usually when we start our pro program we welcome muslims first but if there is no muslims then christians are welcome to call or even from other belief thank you for being here may the lord bless you christ is lord islam is false i mean to that and see you soon again bye bye